vlogging too. I'm gonna have a vlog out tomorrow on the stream situation. Okay. All right, Christian on the freaking bond point. Got a set up. Check out our, our setup right here. We've got the Jack Five of Dimes on the button. One second here. We're gonna go ahead and min raise. Huh? Got the screens. We're gonna have the chat up here. And as I said, I'll have the YouTube over here. Watch the hockey over there, over there. We're gonna be vlogging. Hello, people. Thanks for joining us. I'm doing the stream live for probably a couple hours. And then I got an interview to do with, uh, I'm gonna check this back. I got an interview to do with the Chicago radio station. They wanna talk a little puck. Vegas Golden Knights for Chicago Blackhawks. So we'll do that. Um, I'll do that probably while I'm on stream. Whatever. You guys can listen in on the interview. Um, give those guys a little shout out. We got the Vegas Golden Knights shirt on. There you go. Go Knights, go. Go Knights, go. Let's go. Okay. That's me vlogging, right? All right. We're folding this one. So uh, let's see here. Oops. Never mind. Gotta hit that. All right. So. Here we are in the 5K6 max. Starts out pretty quick, especially considering compared to what we played yesterday, which was that that seven hour stream of like a $500 buy in mini main. It was unbelievable how deep that thing was. So we're playing six max against some good players. Alex De Feliz, as you remember, is a guy we played heads up. We were fortunate enough to beat him, beat him a pot early today as well. So then uh, we've got Connor Drynan right next to him, who we have a $100,000 bet with. The Daniel Devoris win. Congratulations, Daniel. I did not have a bet against him. Um, as I said before, like I thought I lost 100000 to him, but I didn't because he was talking about, he asked me early, he's like, can we do like a bet on just the GG? And I said, okay, we can revisit that later, you know, after World Series stuff goes. And then I started taking some bets in. And in my mind, he reached out to me and said, like, let's make the bet. So then I get a message from him, a DM. It says, hey, I'm just curious. Like, who, who, who backed me in that one? I'm like, you mean you didn't have a, you didn't bet me? So if you didn't bet me, let me check who bet. Nobody. So I have a whole bunch of bets. I just take them as they go. And uh, in this case, I was lucky enough to not have a bet with Daniel Boris. We do have one against Connor Drynan. So we're sitting here on 27 bigs, which start with uh, 25K in chips. We're down to 16. Just been a slow start. Not a lot happening. Six max is a little bit more of an aggressive game. Get a lot more three betting. We're going to have to do that as well. We're still on bullet number one, so those of you who have a piece are still in action. All right, let me tell Christian. I should be live. Be up. Be up. And two men, let me know. Okay, so this is a $5,000 buy-in with, I don't know, let's, let's check out the lobby and find out the info. Oh, how, how did that happen? It's like it knew. Well, I just said lobby and the lobby popped up. All right, we're gonna fold that one. So this one has not a guarantee on it, but uh, prize pool right now sitting at 55 places paid, nice chunky. What do we got so far? 382, 382 players for a 5K. I mean, it's pretty damn good. If I say so, if I do say so myself. All right, you can see that when I do that, yeah? All right, so let's go back to the prize pool. All right, cool. Then over here we've got other deets, you got deets over here. All right, cool. Oh my God, I was so stressed out. I uh, hate when things don't work and it just wasn't working right. And thankfully, Christian's on the ball, got us set up so we can stream. And we'll find out in a minute if everything's working well. So we've been working on an issue because I, I wanna show you guys the snap cam so bad, okay? Because the snap cam is the coolest new feature on GG Poker where you can take a 15 second video, send it on the table, say whatever the hell you want to say. You know, again, you could get blocked by people if you say nasty things, but whatever, you know, it's freaking whatever. It's free. You're free to do what you like. Um, and I want to show you that how that works. But because I'm streaming off of a laptop that streams to a monitor, there's an issue because the cam that snap cam would use is on that laptop, but I'm using the cam from the monitor. So, kind of throws a wrench into that plan. But it's pretty damn cool. In the meantime, we can say, oops, let's switch our emojis to the old d next faces. Hello. Say hello. Hi, everybody. It's nice. Say hello. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> he says, oh my God. <laughs> All right, we should be up. Let's see. Do, do. Make this a little skinnier. We don't need it quite that big, do we? 
think so. Oops. Check this. Boom. Refresh. 25 bigs. 25 bigs playing six-handed. It's not the same as when we play these eight- and nine-handed tournaments. You don't have quite as many... Uh, my restream chat not working? Or it's just new? All right, nobody chatting yet. All right, here we go. Your biggest fan here from New Jersey, Devin Hilburn. What's up, Devin Hilburn? You're first today. All right, we're going to fold the jack do, see what would have come. How you like them apples? We made the stream happen, y'all. Jubal Chatty, great to see you, says Andrew Two. Trudell of Facebook, go, go, go. Hello from Austin, Texas, Brian Henson. Good luck today, Daniel, from uh, Odin Mostert. I'm going to tell my wife. On now, all right, we'll fold the 7-5 over here. Let's see what we got over there. We got messages from this dude, that dude. Okay. Okay, great. So here we go, six max, big money, big, big money, big money on the line. We've been running hot, cashing every single time, y'all, pretty much, I think every time, since I've been selling pieces in the GG lobby for you guys to buy at no markup, we've been in the money, okay? One person asked about the day two thing, and it's kind of confusing. When you buy into a stack on day two, you have to pay what's called ASMU, okay? So that's average stack markup, okay? So basically how that works is whatever your stack is, you divide it by the starting stack and that's your number. So I had seven times the starting stack, right? So 7X. So then you would pay seven times the price of what 1% would be. Partly because you're already right next to the money. Now, what that means is if I just squeak into the money and I'm out right away, you don't make money on it, okay? But you lose very little. You get most of your money back, right? But you don't win money. You win money, you're in a good spot if we run deep and win the big, big dough. But you're buying because you're you're buying. Sha Lou Lou Brancasio says, "Don't underestimate the Hawks." I already did. I bet all my money on Vegas for this suite. This suit. Mark Andrews, you folded four six suited. Where Daniel? So I folded the four six suited because again we're playing six max. Uh, Game is much more aggressive. People are three betting more. Uh, the stack sizes right now are not all that deep, as you can see. Do, 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 do. So guys, in the next hour or so, I'm going to announce, I'm gonna give you guys a five minute warning that are watching the stream of when I will announce uh, the package that's available for tomorrow's event, which is the $2,500 buy-in double stack. You'll have a chance to buy in on the first bullet, 1% at no markup, which is a freaking ridiculously good deal. That's Mr. Me, Dineg, being very generous. Ray as an end asks if I'm gonna make a clause about trolling in my heads up match. I don't think so. I don't think you can control that. Like when someone's got troll vibe and they're trolls at, like at the core, you can't like you can't hamper that. Then he would have nothing left. Like no identity. Like who would he be? I mean, you have to, I guess you could troll 80 year old women who are, you know, mayors and shit, I guess. That's like you could move on to other people, but I doubt it. Like I'm his main guy, you know. I'm his I've been his obsession for a long time. He can't just let go of that, no matter what happens in the match. I wouldn't ask that. Like of all the things I would ask. I wouldn't even ask for that because it's, I know it's too much. I know it's not possible for him. So moving on. Yes, that's Connor Drine and the kid that lost aces to aces. Key is asking. That's insane, right? You guys saw that on the World Series of Poker. Whew, sick one, huh? Aces against say Oh, that was a million dollar one drop too. I mean, come on, bro. That's so brutal, right? Great player. He is a very good player. So... We have to be on our best behavior against them. All right, so now you notice the blinds are getting up there, eh? We're down to 18 bigs. Just so you know, at 2.30 in about an hour, I have a, um, a interview I said, radio interview I'll do for about 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so about 15 minutes. In the meantime, just got to focus on playing good in this first bullet. I'm not doing, especially at this stage, we still have an hour and a half in late reg. I'm not doing crazy gambles with your money. I may do that though, just so you know. Like when you guys buy a piece, it's a good deal regardless, but I will push the envelope if need be because I have a bunch of big bracelet bets, right? So I will uh, take higher risk uh, lines later in the, later in the, uh, in the day. 
Wifey's upstairs right now. She, she hung with us for like five hours yesterday. It was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, that video had to get pulled my bad before. The sound went out on my laptop. So I was like, well shit, I don't know, no sound. So I'll play some music. And I'm sitting there playing, you know, Eminem. My tea's gone cold, I'm wondering why. Got out of bed at all. The morning crank comes up my window. And I can't see at all. And even if I could, it would all be great. Put your picture on my wall. It reminds me that it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Dear Slim, I wrote, but you still ain't called. You know, anyway, Stan. So I, I played that for like five minutes and YouTube pulled it for a copyright infringement. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't ever wanna do that. I don't need music, I'm good. You know, I don't, I don't need it, but. Hugs to Amanda. Yeah, she'll, she'll, she might be down a little bit later. Do, 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 do. Michael Mitchell, hello Daniel. How do you mitigate not having as much ability to observe your opponents and their strategies due to streaming? I, I would answer that question completely honestly, but I don't think that I should. Because uh, I might give away a little bit of sort of strategy from my perspective, okay? Um, it's a great question, totally fair question. You did nothing wrong. You're not getting blocked for that question, it's fair. But I don't know that, um, I wanna explain kind of like what I do behind the scenes or uh, you know how I study my opponents or things like that. Especially when I'm playing against some good ones here. As I said, Alex DeFelice on GG Poker alone has won 1.2 million. Connor Dryden's at 647,000. So we got some players, some players in the building. We got players in the building. Do, do. All right, eight big blinds we cannot call with the three, four. We would have called, oh, we would have had an open and straight draw. Bam. Buckowski, love the stream from Holland. Thank you. Thanks everybody for joining me on these streams. It's a lot of fun to do them. A lot of fun banter back and forth. It was incredibly, um, incredibly, uh, oh, let me see, A6, we're gonna fold that. Incredibly fun to have my wife with me. It made the time go by fast. And Sahil rocks, big fan. Could you share your thought process and why you always open two X? Okay, at these blinds, when the when the stack sizes go down, your race sizes go down early. Like if we're 100 big blinds deep, I typically come in for two and a half blinds. But then uh, at this stage, it's just two. Um, it's pretty common. Like as you can see, most players like Connor Dryden comes in for two at this stage. It's just the evolution of the math behind poker. This is something that I figured out in the late. I want to say late 90s, early 2000s from observing and things like that. I was coming in for much smaller race sizes at these stages than other people who were opening three and a half, four X. I was like, no, you only need 2.3, 2.4. Got to fold this beautiful hand. Um, and then, you know, now all the kids who have done the theory work have sort of learned that a lot of things that I figured out on my own are, is backed by theory. So, um, yeah. Eight, nine suited. We probably would have won, huh? With all these freaking hands. Nope. Ace, king, ace, king, ace, ten. All right, come on, eight or nine. Just, I just want to win even when I'm not in. Feels like I should. All those cards out. Not an eight or a nine to be seen. It's a club. Could it be an eight? Oh, well, we missed. For none but ourselves can free our mind. Whoa. Have no fear for atomic energy. Because none of them can stop the time. How long shall they kill our profits while we raise with nine, eight suited? What? We under the gun five-handed. We've got to push the envelope. Boom. Pick up the blinds right there. Boom, boom, boom. The blinds in my pocket is all I ever need. Blinds in my pocket. Yep, all right. So we go and play this hand for a min raise. The ace four. Maybe we flop aces up, huh? Fuck absolutely nothing. Now this is a hand a lot of players would continue with. Uh, I'm not going to against the first position raise. I mean, if, especially on the stack size that I have. There's, I don't have a lot of maneuverability to try to represent, say like a queen or an eight or something like that. I just figured let's move on. On to the next one. Mm. If it's folded to us, we can jam. We could actually jam against Connor or Alex with this hand. I think we should too. He's an aggro player. You see his 37% there? That's his uh, V-pip, and we're playing shorthanded, so sometimes you gotta gamble, people. This is it, this is all your money right now, and we're going all in. 
All your money on the line, people. All right, we took it down. All right, push that envelope. Let's go, let's go. He says, you suck. Uh, I'm gonna put, I'm so good. I'm so good. I can't help it. And I'm so good. All right, we're gonna min raise that one. 10 7 suited. Ha uh, ha. Come and say, come on now. Come on. Come on. Come and get it. It's my own face. How cool is that, right? Like, think about it. That's when you know you made it. On a website. I'm gonna show people on the vlog. All right. So, let me show people on the vlog. All right. All right. We're in the middle of a hand here, right? So, what are we gonna do is we're gonna tell them, we're gonna say, come on, bro. Come on. That's so cool. It's my own face. Huh? That's when you know, I'm, I'm telling them again. That's when you know you made it in poker. When you have a, you know, your own face on a site there. All right, we got top pair. Let's go, baby. Up there, up here, all the things. The chat over here, the chat over here. What are we gonna bet here? Let's see, there's one, 6.8. We're gonna bet 1.5. 1.5. And then let's go to bet. Boom. All right, and just go away, guys. Oh, there's two players. Like, Jesus, gotta pay attention. I didn't even see that Randy Marsh called. That's all right. We got the best end. Oh, you check raising us, bro. Well, we gotta go with it. I mean, he might have a flush draw, might have a better 10, might have Stuyats. If Simon comes, then we can get away from it. If Simon Lofberg decides to play, then we would fold here. All right, um, what's the play here? Seven with 16 bigs. I think we just gotta get it in. Oh man, it sucks. What the hell is he gonna have here? Just a flush draw? Can I call? I don't think so. Ugh. All right, let's go. We got rebuys available if necessary. What do you got, buddy? You got us crushed, right? Oh, fuck, he has the king. All right, hold it. Hold, baby. Hold, baby. We got, we're all in, so we get to squeeze this river card. Let's squeeze together, okay? There's a card. It's good, it's good. That's an ace, I think. Ace, two, seven, three. Yeah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Now we're going to put a little emoji there. Let's go with... Uh, Wow. And then let's go with running hot. <laughs> so obnoxious. I love it. Full. Okay. I'm doing vlog, guys. It'll be out tomorrow. How about that, huh? How about that? What about that? What about that? All right. So now we got 41 bigs, which is 33K. Start with 25. So happy about it. Happy about it. <laughs> Upload those to my man, Christian. Yeah. When he check raises there, it's unlikely he has a five. So the question is, does he have a 10? And if he does, we're dead. But if not, it's very, very, like a very big part of his range is a flush draw. Okay. And luckily for us, his flush draw was not two overs. He didn't have king jack or king queen of spades. He only had the, uh, the king nine of spades. So lucky us. Good start. All right, another hour and a bit for late reg. This thing's faster, man. I'm telling you. It's just like I got so into the mindset of yesterday's event, which was super slow. Ace and Jack. Ace and Jack, we raise. Oh no, he raised? Jazabi, what are you doing, Jazabi? Jazabi, all right, you have no winnings on the site yet. I'm gonna call you Jazabi. I'm coming with you, Jazabi. Jazabi from Argent Argentina. Jazabi from Argentina. William Wadley, why is that? Well, you said loser, I didn't. Jeff Bodsky, hate, Jeff Bodsky hating on you. I don't know. I never had a problem with him. Does he hate me? I can't tell sometimes. I don't know if he actually hates me or he's just, you know, having fun needling. I don't know. I have no problem with him. So, you know, good luck to you, Mr. Bosky. Do what you got to do. I'm doing my thing. You do you. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if you hate me, that's okay. A lot of people do. But if you like me, cool. Bro, we can hang. I don't know. <laughs> what are you gonna what are you gonna do, you know? Alright, so what did I fold here? Folded the ace jack. Odin Mostelt, how is your chess coming along? I'm not playing chess right now. I'm on a poker grind. So notice this ace jack hand. I did not three bet six handed. You can three bet that hand sometimes. I didn't really like doing that against an under the gun player who uh doesn't have a lot of winnings. Now that typically again, you don't know for sure. Like it's just a I don't a random, but I would expect, especially with this V pip right now saying zero that uh, the range is pretty pretty limited. Ah, we would hit the ace. What are you gonna do? So we're in good shape now. 
Aw, oh, thanks. Charles Anthony Fouch says, your stream yesterday with Amanda was your best live stream yet. I agree. Having her on it? Come on. I can't beat that. For anyone asking, just so you know about the heads up match that I agreed to in October, it's still August 11th. There's plenty of time. I'm focused on World Series of Poker to iron out the details on that. Hmm. All right, let me block this guy. Hold on. Yep. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, so that ham, that match will happen as far as I'm concerned. You know, I'm going to play. Again, the details are something we got to work out. And we have plenty of time for that. I'm, not, I'm in no rush. Tranquilo. I mean, I'll, I'll put in the solid, like, two weeks of practice because that's roughly around the amount of time that I think is necessary, right? To, to learn how to play the, master the game, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> that's me joking, okay? Now you're going to cut that and go, look how disrespectful he is. The heads up players who work so hard to be great at what they do and he says in two weeks he could play. Oh my God, I'm so offended. I'm so offended. Okay, we'll be offended. What do you want? I'm joking. Let's go. What do we got? Queen 10? Really position? I'm going to lay that one down. Tight is right. I, me singing is not copyright of, offensive, right? Someone's saying I'm worried about my Bob Marley singing. Do, 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 do. So at 2.30 those guys are going to call? All right, 2.30 we've got... Hold on, my wife texting me. Excuse me. Excuse me, por favor. Un, un I'm going to fold that 3-4. Okay. okay. Doctor, maybe he can... That seems stiff. Okay. <laughs> watching the hand now that we doubled. Stan Adrian asked, had you other plans if poker didn't work out? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky me. Hang with, listen, I'll stay at my parents' house. I guess. So we got the 10-4 spades. We limp almost in our entire range in these spots. Sometimes against a short stack, we might just jam. Uh, this is a player earlier I have a note on, Randy Marsh. And it was specific to this situation, small and big blind. So against him, I think that's a fold. Well, I mean, yeah, I have nothing, 10-4. But I'm not messing with him there. Big win there with the, we faded the king, faded the spade, we got the ace on the button. We got Randy Marsh with 13.8. If we open any jams, we got a fold. If somebody else opens, I'm not playing the ace five on the button. Jazabi, 15 bigs. Paul Dudzinski, what do you think of Ellen Degenerate? Degenerate, Degeneres. She seems fine to me. I mean, I don't know. I think people today are just a little too sensitive in some cases, right? You work for this woman. She's got, she's got her way of doing things. You know, oh, your boss wasn't, you know, comforting to you and making sure that he was, you know, coddling you. Come on, man. You're in a competitive environment, show business, whatever. I don't know the details of what happened, of course, so I'm just speaking out of my ass, which I've done plenty of times in my life. But listen, I don't know. I just, I think it's a ridiculous. I don't know. What did she do exactly? Oh, she was a little, she was mean to me. She was nice to me. I was working and she said like, go get me lunch. She didn't say it in a nice voice. She said, go get me lunch now. And I'm like, well, why do you have to speak to me that way? <laughs> Can I do the safe space? Please help me, I'm so offended, I'm so hurt. Cause Ellen wasn't caught, you know, she didn't speak to me sweetly. Come on, bro. Um, Amitav Sharab asks me about that hand when I had the 10-7, why I didn't consider a five. So when you think of a five, there's two things, there's two reasons I don't think he has a five. Number one, 
He's called a raise, right, from a small blind. So there's not that many combinations of a five that would do that. Ace five suited, pocket fives, which makes four fives, um, five six suited, maybe, king five suited, who knows? But then you factor in on a 10 five five flop. If he really did have three fives, would he raise me there? Like, why would he raise me? Just to, you know, get me to fold? Like, he wouldn't want me to stop bluffing. Oh man, bro. Okay, we open them. So, so I don't think he has a five almost ever. I mean, he could and play it fast like that, but he doesn't have four fives, I don't think. That would be really silly for him to check raise four fives, you know? Romania, 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 this Francis Pataki. Oh, Leo, yeah. Da, da, hide, hide, bro. Hide, hide, bro. All right, I'm going to show people this. Okay. I mean, I know I've shown you guys the view a bunch, right? So we got this over here, as I said, we got this, but like, how cool is it to have that right outside the window? Right? And these big, look at that big ass wave right there. I mean, oh my God, here are the huge ones. You, they don't even look as big on the video as they, as, oh my God. That baby's coming hard. Well, look at that. Oh my God. So cool. What do we got here? Deuce 10? I'm not gonna play Deuce 10. Mm. Okay. Vlogging. That's how we do it. I just. Mm. I don't watch a lot of the YouTube guys. I mean, listen, I'm, I got other things I do, but I've seen some vlogs here and there. Like, the one that I watch when it comes out usually is Ryan DePaulo, the degenerate gambler. I find his personality to be funny. Bro, you know, he's got that East Coast kind of thing. I like Jersey Shore, that show. He's kind of funny. He gives no fucks, which is good. Like, clearly, he gives zero fucks. I mean, he doesn't comb his hair, doesn't shave. Like, he's like, whatever, bro. This is me. Accept it or not, you know? I like that. I always listen. I appreciate people like that. Even people I don't like, people I don't like that uh, stand on their ground and are not ashamed of being who they are and they just are who they are and if people don't like it they don't like it we got moved to a new table poop poppy pie i've played with jonathan van fleet and then b legendary nick carter and blind pew i've played with b legendary as well nick carter was at my table earlier mm -mm. -mm. The video yesterday unfortunately got pulled. For those of you asking, I was unable to keep it up because we made a boo boo. I made a boo boo where I, uh, I um, what did I do? I I played some music, and that's not that's a big no no, man. I, everyone was like, dude, copyright ah. I was like, fuck. I mean, I'm just I'm stupid about this stuff. All right, king ten, decent stacks behind us. This is an open. If it's folded to us. So notice with this king 10, if Jonathan raised or be legendary raised, I'm just folding the king 10. I'm not even gonna mess with it. But when the first in with three people behind, we're gonna go ahead and open and it's simple. Somebody re-raises, we just fold, okay? This game is not nearly as complicated as people wanna make it. Oh, what's your range and fucking stack the ratio, blah, blah, blah. It's a very simple game, you know? You can overcomplicate it and make it more difficult than it is, but it's not gonna do that much good for you, you know? You come up with a basic strategy. This is a good flop for us to bet probably have the best hand, right? Because, I mean, if he doesn't have an ace, king high is probably good. We definitely don't want him to check raise or to check call. He could do that with a bluff, but some of the time we're actually going to have an ace, right? So he's just way burning chips. Um, he could have an ace. He could have a three. He's in the big blind. He could have anything. He could have king high as well. So he check calls there. we got to be a little bit concerned. I mean, he could be doing this to, like, just hope that I check the turn and then bluff the river with anything, like jack 10 even. Or jack nine, but I'm gonna give him a little more credit. I think maybe as king high as well or a three. I'm gonna check back. All right, there's the ten. Now we're now we're committed, but I'm not betting this. I'm not gonna value bet this. There's not a lot of. It's a dangerous spot. If he checks and I bet and then he check raises, I'm like, oh, I gotta fold. Let's hope he doesn't bet too much. I want to bet about half pot. If he bets too much, that's that's a tough spot. All right, perfect. What I say, I want him to bet about half pot. All right, you gotta pay that off. Let's go. You got an ace, you win. You do. Congratulations, bro. Congratulations, good for you, poopy pie. We hit our best card. That was like the 10 was literally the best card we could have hit. He doesn't have jacks, queens, or kings. So we hit 10s with a king kicker. If we hit the king, that's, that's our second best card because then we'd have aces and kings with a 10. We'd lose the king, queen, and king jack in those spots. But here, the only hand we lose to is an ace. 
So that was unfortunate. He had it. But good well, you know, well played. He made the right move by not check raising there. Right? Good play. Good play, Poopy Pie. He's a good player, from what I remember. Let's see, how much does Poopy Pie have in winnings? Poopy Pie's got 26k in winnings. Okay. He's probably gonna have a lot more if he keeps playing that well. Just saying, I was giving the guy props. I'm gonna say, nice play. Nice play. And what else? Nice hand? Where's nice hand at? Nice play. Nice hand. Yeah. Yeah, good job. Pepite Pipi asks about where, how yesterday finished. Yesterday I made it through to day two on, holy shit, these waves. Wow, so freaking gorgeous. It's something about it, man. I'm feeling close to nature. We ended with about 28 bigs, which will be 24. Guess what? Haircut, I did not get a haircut. I did it myself. <laughs> I actually just went like this. And I did it myself. And my wife thinks it looks good. I'm like, she does, she's afraid, you know, she doesn't wanna fuck it up. I'm like, who cares? Gabe Stu, is this for actual money? Um, yeah, like hundreds of thousands of dollars, just saying, first prize. So uh, yeah, I'd call that real money, just saying. Cactus says, what the fuck? He's jacked. So I've been hearing rumors that I'm on steroids now. Not true, all right, not true. I've never taken steroids in my entire life. I got leaner, not bigger. Okay, what happened is I already had some muscle, but I got rid of all the fat, so then you just see what's left, and then you know it looks more defined and stuff like that. But now I'm gonna bulk up, start eating a little bit more, add some popcorn to the repertoire, a lot more carbs, I'm gonna kick it up. All right, early position. I'm gonna lay this one down against my better judgment. Oh shit, nailed that flop. Dang it. Four, five. Mm. Now this is one we could jam on Jonathan or be legendary. You can stick this in their faces. Gotta get aggressive to win these six Mac tournaments. You can't just sit there and be like, oh, you know, wait for the nuts. Blinds come around quite often and people are always attacking. So here we go. If we get a raise from Jonathan, I'm sticking it in with the ace three of diamonds. Cause the ace three of diamonds plays pretty well. If he does call, okay. We're probably a two to one dog, but we do have a wheel draw, flush draw. All right, so let's just stick the whole 17 in. Booyah, kasha, boomski, boom, all in your face. Please fold, Jonathan Van Fleet. Throw it away, go away, fold that ace eight. Why do I think he's got ace eight? But that's what I think he has, no. Kings, well that's a good hand. Now we just need to catch an ace. Kings, huh? Woke up with kings, this guy. All right, we gotta catch an ace, otherwise it's rebuy time. And unfortunately, y'all are piece, pieces will be, oh, oh, that could be an ace. That's, that's got ace potential. That's an ace deuce or a three. Deuce, damn, oh, we had a good sweat. Good sweat for that one, all right. In for another 5K, in for a pound, in for a penny, or whatever the hell that saying is. Okay, we gotta register. Okay, and there we are, back at it, 25 bigs. It's a fast one today, y'all. Okay, we're gonna fold that. A fast structure today in this six max, everything's faster, so that's it. Unfortunately, guys, I bought a piece. This You did not win any money, okay? Because it can't sell pieces on the second bullet and you only get for the first. I'm gonna mark that into my phone that we just rebought so I don't forget for my records. Okay, 5K, six max times two. I don't mind the shelf, I think it's fine. Like, especially, you know, in a six max. He's gonna fold a lot there. He doesn't have to have it. He just did. And then if he did have it, so what? We could still hit an ace. We could hit a flush, you know? You're not dead. So now we have one rebuy available left after that one. So I'm gonna fold here. 25 big blinds. Who do we got? Mane Glusa, Christopher Brewer, Oliver Weiss. Oh shit, I forgot to film that. Oops. All right. All right. Vlog. I forgot to film that. But anyway, I just uh, had to rebuy in the thingy. Jonathan Van Fleet and the cutoff raised. We had ace three of diamonds in the small line with 17 big, six handed. He got a push, push, push a little bit. Stuck it in his face. He stuck it in my face because he had two kings and we did not catch. So now we're back to 25 bigs on bullet number two. Unfortunately for those people that had a piece of me on bullet number one, they money gone. But it's a good investment most often. Just that time we didn't catch. So now we're on uh, 
Now I got 100% of my action. Woo, yummy. Now I'm all confused because I'm going to try. Kidding. I try all the time. Okay. Little piece for the vlog. Do, do. What's this Ellen talk? People on Ellen. Why do you care about Ellen so much right now? All right, Ace King. I'm going to play this hand because why not, right? I'm here to gamble, guys. You know what I'm saying? What do you think I'm a full Ace King? You think I'm scared? Sarzi, I like your personality to be funny, Daniel. Okay, well, there you go. Sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's... Right, all right, you want to re-raise me, bro? Fine. 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 Let's get this on camera just in case. All right. Boom. Let's see if he calls. All right. All right, we, this is bullet number two. We're all in. Oh, boy, the classic confrontation. Ace, king against queens. There's the ace. Hi. Hi, ace. Hello, other ace. All right, let's squeeze that river and make sure it's not paint. Squeeze. Okay, that's good. Yeah, see the corner there? That means it's not a paint card. We good. Double, double. Okay. Vlog in action. You're watching it. 51 bigs now? <laughs> Crushing. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do now in five minutes, guys, in five minutes, be ready. When the break comes, I am going to list a package for tomorrow's $2,500 double stack. I'm going to register for that one. And you guys that are watching right now will have first dibs. So you got to have your fingers ready because once it goes up in the lobby, that shit going to sell fast, y'all. I mean, it just does. It goes fast. So I'm going to try to maybe see if I can lower the cap, but we'll see. We'll see what we're doing here. I'm going to buy into it right now. So yeah, in five minutes. Got it? I will uh, wait patiently, but you guys will have first dibs. Six, seven suited. Let me play this hand first because I like it. All right, it's a good flop for us. Open into straight draw. The three on the turn would be really nice in case he has like ace something. And it'd be hard for him to get away with the strasa. We win off some chips at very least. Two big blinds we can call. All right, there's another deuce. Check one more time. Over to Maniglosa. Lusa, lausa, lusa. I don't remember how to fucking say it. Manig loser, lauser. What are you gonna? I'm sorry. I mean, if I'm calling you loser and it's not loser, I apologize. You're a nice man. I met, I met you many times. Played with you. Very respectful. You're clean cut, honorable human being. Just check, bro. You don't want to mess with this. Five big blinds, huh? Five, five big blinds. All right, this is a tough spot. Very tough spot. Do 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 do. I'm gonna take the three to one. Ass. Now I feel dirty about doing that. I could have check raised too, but I don't know. That was a weird spot. Very difficult spot. I don't love how I played it. I could have just folded the turn, but oh shit, see? Fuck me. I should have check raised. <laughs> Dean eggs. Tisk tisk. I mean, I did have plenty of outs at three to one, right? Because we could hit an ace. Wait, no. A three, six, seven, or an eight. Damn it. I'm not really happy with how I played that one. Hmm. Once I check call the turn, I can't bet that river. I can't bluff. That's a goofy play that a lot of beginners make. Check call turn. Now, like, oh, I'm just going to bet the 10. Like, it doesn't make no sense. All right. We got a raise from the cutoff. We are deep enough to go ahead and see a flop here with the five, six of hearts. Getting lots of little suited. Suited connectors. There's another good flop. Double belly buster. Three or the seven or the backdoor hearts. This time we're going to hit it. No way we're missing. We're not missing two in a row, right? Just can't happen. We're not missing two in a row. It's just, it, I don't think it's ever happened in the history of poker to miss two in a row here. We're going to hit. Oh, and as, as I told you, let's go 1.7. Come on, raise me, bro. Black Fortuna. Vieni qua, puna una reisa, ina de pota. Oh, so you can call me with ace highest. Oh, come on, dudes. That's not worth it. Man, eight's no good, Oliver Weiss. I had freaking nuts, man. The nuts. The nutter butters. Dang it. Dang it. Alfredo Amaral, you're welcome for the recommendation of The Power of Intention. Another good book there. God, he folded, huh? What was I talking about, bro? Bro. Steven Lindau, we wanted to repost it, 
with me and Amanda, but it was a shitty quality and it was seven hours and it would take days. So, yeah, sorry about that. Aces, all right, we're gonna play that one too. And then I'm gonna go ahead and post that package. It's almost been five minutes. All right, let's go ahead and min raise. I get every, I get a hand every time. All right, I'm gonna go in the break. You guys wait tight. I'm gonna pee and then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna post the package. So hopefully you guys are all ready. Fingers ready. So let's get these aces in. Come on, Oliver. Guy dare you to three bet me. Why not? Oh God, you guys, man. Are you freaking looking at my cards, bro? Damn. Pick up aces. All right, we're going to the main lobby. I'll do this first. Going to tournaments. What the hell? Going to bracelet events. What the hell? All right, we don't want to show satellites. Okay, so then let's go to the 2500 double stack. All right. And let's go register, click register. Okay, now we're going to click sell my action. And we're gonna sell 25% for the fans on a double stack. So that's gonna be a really good buy, just saying. Cause it's not likely I'll ever bust the first bullet on that one. All right, purchase cap, let's see what we can do. Wanna put half a percent so that more of you guys get a chance to buy? What do you think? Why does that say zero? Oh, half a percent of my action. Half a percent or one percent? I did say one percent. So I'm gonna do one percent, sorry. Yeah, do one percent, sorry. All right, one percent. That means not as many of you are gonna get it. Let's make sure that, uh, let me see, one minute. All right, I'm gonna pee and then I'm gonna press click because it's gonna go fast, y'all. You guys hanging tight. Here we go. I forgot I'm gonna vlog this too. All right, I'm gonna, hold on. Cancel, all right. So I'm gonna show people in the vlog how this works. All right, so for the people that are watching the stream, they're gonna get first dibs. This is how easy it is to sell action, right? So I'm registered for the tournament already. Now I'm gonna click on this button over here that says sell my action, okay? Click sell my action. This will show up and then I can decide how much I wanna sell. So we're gonna sell 25%. Click to, oh, cool. All right, let me go this way, Up faster, 25%, no, 25%, all right, so you see that there, and then we're gonna go to purchase cap, and we're gonna say, all right, let people buy a maximum 1% of the action, markup you can set yourself, we're gonna do nice and friendly, no markup, you can introduce yourself, a little comment there, and then you're gonna click sell action, lets you know that they can see your tournament results when you do that, you click okay, and then boom, you're officially in the lobby, and then once people see that, it starts to go sold. It'll be sold in, oh, there you go, 16% sold. That was about four seconds, gone. <laughs> Boom, <laughs> sale fini. Wow, bang. All right. So now the people that had the fastest fingers that were you know, watching the stream will have a chance tomorrow to sweat the stream and have a piece of the action, which I think is a lot of fun. Unfortunately, the guys for today that had a piece, they have no longer nothing to root for other than just root for me because you know what the hell why not okay see that's how i vlog very easy all right i got a break right got a break so let me take my break bro let me close that out it's sold in flick i think four seconds i don't know how fast you guys had fast fingers good job i'll be right back i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna chill i gotta I gotta eat in an hour oh no i got that interview in three
All right, got a few minutes left of the break here. All righty then, what's going on? Look at that on my forehead, a GG poker. <laughs> this is my face mask. In addition to a mask that I wear when I go to the gym, which you'll see in tomorrow's vlog. Protect this from the stuff. Can't even say it because people in the chat will start going, nah, it's fake, fake news, fuck shit, the fuck. It's not real. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, sorry, QAnon. Pardon me. All right, let's get into some of the chat here. See what you guys are chatting about right now. Hopefully it's fun, good stuff. What do you want to know about? What do you want to know about? I want to address that freaking thing, but I want to do it on the vlog. I mean, on the podcast. Like, what do you... Yeah, I'm going to talk about that later. This can be hidden. Let's go this way. Uploading four items. Do, 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 do. Hmm. So listen, you guys are just going to have to bear with me at 2.30 when they call to do the radio interview. Um, that'll happen for, it'll be about 12, 15 minutes. I get asked all the time to do little radio shows and different things like that. So we will uh, do that on stream. Yesterday, you guys listened as my doctor gave me the, you know, the call. We're going to do the stream. We're going to talk a little Golden Knights. Let's check out the score. Oh, if you want to watch yesterday's video, good news. For those that did not see yesterday's video and want to see it, Facebook. Go to my Facebook page. All right, Christian, just let me know. Go to Facebook. You can find that whole video from yesterday. Seven hour freaking stream with the wifey, the whole deal. You know? So what was I going to do now? I'm going to check the score. Yeah. Doom, doom, doom. I was watching the game a little bit or I was trying to, but I'll watch it a little later. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gear up for the Vegas Golden Knights game. Oh, 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, end of 1. All right. Damn, Dubois started it. Okay, so we bet Tampa in this game, minus 166. We also bet them in the series, minus who knows what. So come on, bro. Tampa Bay fucking lightning. Let's go. Don't let me down, bro. Do not, do not, do not let me down. All right, we got one hour left of late ridge. So that'll take us through to three o'clock. I may leave you guys at three. I may not. We'll see how I feel. Um, I did plan on doing like a two hour stream today. Supposed to be from noon to two, but since we couldn't get that first hour in, could be one to three. And then maybe come back a little bit later. I am vlogging. I got to cook. Today we're making a uh, vegan bolognese. I'm going to give you the recipe because everyone's always asking, what the hell is your recipes? Blah, 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 recipes. I'm going to read it out. One sec. Okay. This here is the, the recipe book. The Dean Eggs Lean Bulk Plan. Okay. And it's been working. Well, I mean, actually, we're not really bulking right now because I'm burning way too many calories out here. I'm going to fold the King 10 off under the gun. So today is a vegan bolognese. That is day six. Let's see here. Got all these beautiful... Oh, you can't see it. But anyway. So what do we got? Day five. Here we go. Day six. I'm going to tell you what's in the bolognese. It's very simple to make, okay? The base is uh, it's a lentil penne bean pasta. So lentil bean pasta. That's like a penne, which is very high in protein. This whole meal is uh, it's gonna be 670 calories, 75 grams of carbs, 15 of those being fiber, 23 grams of fat, and 53 grams of protein. And I'll tell you where that comes from. It comes from 62 grams of lentil pasta, 194 grams of tofu, which we pan fry a little bit early, a little bit of olive oil to, to, for the pan fry. Take a, one medium onion, like 110 grams, chop that up, one clove of garlic, chop that up. I'm like a Chef Boyardino, I can do all that stuff. And we're going to take uh, 245 grams of tomato sauce. We're going to put a serving of Italian herbs, you know. Then we're going to add uh, 32 grams of tomato paste, okay. And then we're going to re-raise this guy to 8.7. Yeah, I'm going to re-raise you, bro. Tens. We play a lot more aggressive, six five, six handed. People open wider. Got a three bit wider. A lot of times we just flatten these spots with these stack depths, but I'm, I'm happy to get it in. I mean, I'm not happy to get it in if he jams, but I'm going to. All right, cool, let's take it. Um, so yeah, so what, you, what you'll do with that is essentially you make the pasta, the pasta. Well, first you make the tofu, and then you add all the, you know, the veggies, the garlic, the, all that kind of stuff. And then um, you, know, you add the sauce, you add the tomato paste, then you add the, the thing. 
And then you just mix it all in together. When it's when the pasta is done, you throw it all in there and you eat it. And it's freaking delicious. Very simple, right? Yeah. Solid. F I mean, I got like I said. I mean, I'm not freaking. I don't do this keto insanity. I'm doing 75 grams of carbs in that meal. Boom. Energy. 23 grams of fat. As I said, 53 grams of protein. Very hearty meal. And then for dinner, I make a Mongolian seitan. Mongolian seitan is really yummy. It's like an Asian style dish where you take seitan, which kind of can taste like chicken or beef, depending how you make it. And you'll add some ginger root, scallion, sesame seed, uh, soy sauce, garlic, maple syrup, and broccoli. Clas Antilla, ye fuerte frumosa. That means first class. It's very nice. In Romanian, because I speak Romanian as well. What do you know? I feel like I got a lot of energy, huh? Huh, I do. Two coffees. Guy says I have ADD. I don't think I have ADD. All right, I have Kings is what I have, okay? I do not have the ADD. It seems that way, right? Because I got so much energy. Nope, it's not ADD. Oh man, what did I do? Damn it. Oh, you have Kings in your, oh, I have Kings. I'm not folding, bro. Let's get a video of that. Call. Cool. All right, well, this is a good spot here with 32 bigs. Two kings against Manik Lusa. Bucket fours. Oh, yeah, I got the dime. Oh, no, that doesn't matter because if he hits the four, he wins anyway. Let's fade it. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That says 71 big blinds. That's a lot. That's going to move us up on the leaderboard over there, which is what you're looking at right now. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, uploading. 80 bigs. Ooh, David Peters, new table. Okay. I forgot how that damn page is. Is it right here? All right, uploading. Oops. Which way am I going? That's 2019. Hold on. Let's get to, oh, there we go. Got it. Got this thing. So what happens is I take all the video. Oh, hang on. So I take all the videos um, on, my, on this little phone with this contraption here. I can set it up right there. And then I uh, upload it to a cloud. And then from there, my man Christian, he uh, cuts it together and makes a nice vlog for it for you guys. Huh? How nice, huh? how that works. I have not seen any of the Steven Crowder videos change my mind, asking Emmanuel Bowman. I don't know what you're talking about, but maybe I'll look. You said you feel I would disagree with them, but I would appreciate the openness and willingness to have an open convo. I'm sure I would. What's it called? Change my mind? I mean, I could, okay. Sports on now, but. Huh. All righty. So check it out on Facebook if you're missing today's or yesterday's. Oh, I should tweet that too. Yeah, I'll tweet that. If you are looking for yesterday's seven hour stream with Radio Amanda, As a guest, you can still, you can find it on my Facebook page. What is my Facebook? www.facebook.com slash, I think it's official Real Kid Poker. Is that it? I think, I don't know, I don't think that's it. Hold on, let me check. Should be in my Twitter handle, my bio, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. I don't wanna send people to the wrong place. I don't even know, all right, I'll just go to the Facebook then. Yeah, let's go Facebook. Facebook, King Jack. Oh, uh, this is an interesting spot. I could jam, but he's got a little more than I'd like, so I'm gonna flat the King Jack if David Peters jams. 
puts me in a tough spot and I'll probably fold. So tough spot, tough spots all around. Okay, that's a good flop for us. Very good flop. I mean, we don't have a pair. We'll get the, you got the blockers to king, queen, queen, jack, which your hands you would open with. Facebook slash Dean X poker. All right, let's go. So this is a spot we could check raise. We could check call, we're not check folding. All right, that's a spot for us to bet. 1.6, take it away, Dean Eggs. He could just be checking back a middle pair or ace high. He could be giving up. We shall find out shortly. D, Negs, poker. What did I catch a nine? Fuck. Missed everything? All right, do we fire this one through? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me see this guy's stats. One sec, real quick. 41k. No, I'm going to give up on this one. Wave the white flag. Keep my 76 bigs. Shoot. Shit. I had a feeling I could have fucking taken one more stab. He might have called. I mean, honestly. If he called the turn, he might call the river. I did bet very small on the turn. Okay. All right. We could have just caught a king, jack, or a spade. It's always easier. I'm streaming right now as a guest. You can find it on my Facebook page. Okay. Done. Tweet is out. 76 big blinds. Interview in 15. Radio interview talking Golden Knights hockey. I love talking hockey. I mean, doing these radio shows. Doing these radio shows, talking hockey. It's one of my favorite things to talk about. So you'll see me get all hyped up for it. And uh, I'll keep the stream going. Why not? I mean, whatever. See if the wife's in a cooking mood. Make my big vegan bolognese. Let's see. Oh, so hold on, she checked me. If you are in the cooking mood. Boom, 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 boom. Fold, fold. So where are we sitting in chips right now? 29 out of 267? Hey, hey. So we got there. First prize, 426. Let's get a win, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's get a W under our belt. All right, Paul Tech. That's a real name. So as you notice, some people on the site use real name. Uh, that has to do with a few factors. Typically, you know, you're a good winning player, win a lot of money, part of that. Part of what you part of what you do if if you are one of those people and you get selectively randomly picked, you play with your real name. If you want to play, play. Chris Hunichin, another one. Graf Tekel. So basically, I'm playing with four real name players, and hey, I mean, I'm one myself. So the only non real name player is Yuna from Canada, and that doesn't mean they're not a winning player. It just means they haven't been selected yet, if they are. And it's not just winning players. It's going to be big winners. It's a whole bunch. It's a whole random. There's it's pretty random actually right now. Eventually, you know, you're starting to see more and more people have real name, but you don't want some people to have to reel their real name. Like, what if a guy's like a celebrity or a politician or something, you know, and it's like a bad look for him to be gambling, you know, and they want to play. Like, what, are you going to force him to use, the, like, what if Brad Pitt wants to play? He's got to play under Brad Pitt. It's annoying. Not that he should care. All right, we're going to defend the big blind with the ace nine of spades. And then I'm probably just going to check full. We don't, if there was one spade on the flop, I would certainly take one off. But that's a flop that really doesn't hit us. I'm loose. You know. Fold that one. King, queen came. All right. Very little chance that we would have won that pot. Unless we went buck wild. All right. Get back to to work here. 8-9 in the small. We're going to limp against our buddy David Peters. 
I like me some David Peters. All right, there's a nine. I'm you can ask me questions anywhere, Dylan Kushner. Streaming everywhere. All right, so we get nines, eights, and jacks. But he did call on that board, so I think check is correct. And then we probably have to call one bet and then decide on the river. I mean, he could easily have a jack, right? He's in the big blind. He could have any two cards, essentially. He probably doesn't have aces, ace, king, or anything like that, big cards. But theoretically, he could have queen, ten, ten, seven. All right, he's betting almost pot. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this bet and fold the river. Ooh. That's a little dicey, so I'm not sure if that's a good idea against this guy who's he goes for it, you know? I might have to pay him off. Let me see what he bets. 12.2. I mean, when I call the turn, he's got to know that... I mean, I could have a jack and play it this way. So he's got a way for himself, like, oh, shit. But he fucking bluffs so much. Bluffs so much. But what does he peel with? So he doesn't have just a nine. If he had just a nine, he would... Check it back. So basically, it's a jack, 10 7, or 10 queen. That's the value range. Okay, and then the bluff is. What bluff? There's no fucking bluff. I fold. There's no bluffs. I mean, it's, unless it's just some random ass David Peters just going buck wild, which is possible because that boy, he plays gangster. He plays street poker. So, could have been a highway robbery there, but. Could have been highway robbed. All right, A7 suited, everybody wants to play? I'll play on the button, why not? It's a family pot. DP, coming at me with the big barrel barrel. All right, look at that freaking flop. I mean, seriously, what, what, do, you want from, what do you want from my life? All right, let's video this one. All right, this is always fun. So this hand was like, raise, call, call, we're on the button and we hit that flop. We will be getting it in most likely here. I can't see myself in any way, shape or form getting away from this one. You got chatters over here, you got chatters over here and you're gonna have raising over here. We're gonna make it 5.9, 5.9. Let's see, nine and go here and we're gonna click raise. Okay, what are you gonna do, Graf Tekel? If he goes all in, it's fine. We're, if he has kings, we're actually a favorite. Okay, he has nothing. So maybe I could have just called there. Probably could have just called, let him catch an ace. Oh well, I'll take it. Ain't no harm in taking what's there. Sitting on 60 big blinds. Right now, 26th of 261. Up there on the leaderboard, playing for that. Here we go. See, there's Dineggs. Daniel Negreanu. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, running hot, running hot. Ah! All right, fold. Vlogging. Doom, 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 doom. All right, we got 10 minutes before these people call. They're always late, these radio people. They tell you like, oh, 2.30, and then like 2.32, 2.33, they call. I don't. I don't, I mean, I, homie don't play that, you know what I'm saying? Homie like, if you tell me 2.30, I'm already 2.23, you know what I'm saying? Y'all come at 3.32, 2.32, that ain't right. That's what they do though. They like to have you earlier than the need you. I don't know, I don't know how it works, but whatever. What is the place paid? Well, we've still got 40 minutes before late reg is over, so not entirely sure, but as of right now, it looks like 80 spots will be paid, but we don't wanna just freaking cash, bro. We wanna go all the freaking way. We wanna take this to the finish line. Frederick Patton, do you always play a single table? See, that's my snooze, right? I set an alarm, 2.20, 10 minutes ahead, so that I'm prepared. I'm gonna snooze it too, so I'm prepared for the radio interview. Uh, do I always play one table? No, sometimes I play multiple tables, but when I'm streaming, just one table, yeah. Brad showing, can you play on GG in the States? The home of the brave and the land of the not so free, because you can't play poker on your internet. 
most places. It's stupid. Thinking. Oh, I'm just going to fold. When in doubt, just play tight. All right. I'm going to flop this a little pair. Playing tight. How many players are left? It says right on the screen, bro. 256. Started with 555. We are on two bullets. So unfortunately for those of you who bought a piece of me in this one, you don't have a piece of this anymore. Because we busted that first one. We jammed it with ace three of diamonds into two kings. Didn't work out. Whoa. Sim Sores, why are you not streaming on Twitch? I would if I wasn't banned for life for a, uh, for a uh, what did I do? I, I told a guy that I was going to remove his teeth from his mouth and because uh, I've been working on dental proctology. And then from there, insert them in his rectum uh, one by one because he said nasty things about my wife. So that's what happened and they that's breaking their terms of service. So no more Twitch for old Dean eggs. What are you gonna do? All right, we're gonna call this on the button here. I'm gonna text Christian something while we're at it. It's not our flop. Uh, I'm going to bet this one, actually. Let's bet 1.4. Could probably use... Yep, good job, Daniel. Good job, Daniel. I didn't cap my turn on myself on the turn, Freedom Fighter. Uh, I didn't. So when a Jack-Jack nine board and the eight comes on the turn, me check calling is not capping my range at all, okay? My range still consists of Jack nine, pocket jacks. It consists of the whole enchilada. Uh, not raising is not a thing. Like if he's bluffing, I'm gonna let him bluff. So if I did have a full house there, a big percentage of the time, I would probably play it just like that. Maybe make a C bet, check call the turn, you know? Go from there. Doom, doom, doom. All right, we got Chris Huni, we got David Peters, we got Paul Tech, we got Yuna, Yuna, and then we're gonna have another player join us. All right, what do we got here? Two twenty-four. think World Series will play any live events in Vegas this year? I don't think we should, man. Just let's call it a year and move on. 10-5 suited, bro. We're going to defend. We're going to flop nothing. We're going to check. We're going to fold. We're going to move on. This game's not that hard. I don't mean like I could teach poker, right? But like most of these decisions play themselves, man. Again, that's as long as you don't overcomplicate the game where you think you need to be doing all this goofy, crazy shit, right? Whatever. I got nothing. I mean, I could try to bluff and blah, go fucking buck wild and like get in the streets and whip it out and be like, ah, oh, you know, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to fold, keep my 60 bigs, and just, you know, play some small ball in that sense where you keep your guard up, see some flops, see some flops, chill, 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 wait for the guy to make a mistake, and then you boom, you attack. That's it. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but I'm moving on up to the east side. 
for the deluxe apartment. 7.7 .7 big blinds. We're moving on up. Chris Huney moving with the queens of the jacks. Call with the ace of the queen and the ace and the jack. Call with the eights, the nines. Take it down. Doom, doom, doom. I am reading the chat, just so you guys know. R.I.P. Mushu, Ian Clark says, yeah, my old pup. I still got him on here on my phone. Look at that. There's Mushu. Hold on. Fucking snooze is on there. All right, we're going to call this bet on the button. Man, the snoozing thing. Fuck. All right, let me turn the snooze off. I want you to see, I want you to see my old puppy. Mushu, I had him for 17 years. Why is that on? Alarm. Click off the alarm. Boom. What happened here? I have absolutely nothing. Okay. All right. My screensaver here. Check. See? That's my screensaver right there. Little moosh. All right. We got jacks now. Cool. How about we back into that? Andurish Sudurisan. If you want to see yesterday's stream, go to Facebook. The whole thing will be there. Uh, we're going to bet. Three. Point three, do, 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 do. The whole stream's up on Facebook. It got pulled from YouTube, and a little bit of it is going to be muted on Facebook because I made a boo-boo and was playing uh, some Eminem and shit on my phone, and that's copyright no-no. So, uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. All right, I'm not really sure what the hell Yuna's doing here. Not sure at all. So very, very confusing. King very unlikely to hit him. Could be calling with ace high. Could have queen jack. I feel like I'm supposed to value bet this. Feels like I'm supposed to value bet this. But I'm just going to wimp out. Play careful. Alright, you had a three. Whatevs. Give me the money. I don't know. I don't know if he would have called the three. He might have, actually. He may have called, so. I don't know. I probably should have thought about that one a little longer and went ahead and value bet it. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, we're doing good, y'all. Top 20 stack. Come to Israel, why not? Huh? Come. Have some hummus, falafel. Oh, Samuel Vuzden. Very good player. Very nice kid. I like this kid from the little I know about him. We have a 100k bet on this tournament. Um, him and I, because he took me up on the GG side for the No Limit events. So... I root for him to come second, but uh, avoid the wins because that'll cost me 100,000 US dollars. And I don't want to lose that. Is he going to check raise? If he we have to go with this hand. All right, so he's going to check raise a lot of fucking hands here because he knows I see bet almost my entire range. So we're way too high up in our range to ever fold here on the flop. Okay? Must call. Now, if he has a four, we're just going to go, oh, king. That's a great card for us. Now we're going to check this one back on the turn because we're gonna represent like we don't have that strong a hand. Like we were just calling with ace high or pocket sixes or something like that. And then we're gonna allow him to bluff the river, okay? And if he has a four, he's gonna call a bet on the river that one, because yeah, okay, so he's checking a lot. All right, so now we have to decide what do we wanna do? Do we wanna bet now? Try to get two streets of value? I don't think that's gonna happen. So we're gonna check back after some contemplation. Check, and then on the river, it's a nine, so we would lose to king nine and pocket fours, but whatever. And then the question is, what sizing do we want to hit on the river? I don't know that he's going to call anything, frankly. I mean, we're not checking, but I'm just trying to think, like, what sizing would he call when I play the hand this way? He's just going to know that my check back range and then bet river, all right, he's betting pot. Okay, so now there's no reason to raise him. Okay, sounds real silly. There's no reason to raise him because... I should have filmed this fucking hand. Maybe, Christian, can you use this? Can you put this hand in here? Oh, baby! Christian, put that hand in there. Put that hand in there. This whole clip right here. Put that hand in the vlog because I want everyone to see what happened there. So that was really, really good by us. We were able to get him to bluff it off. And if we would have bet the turn, not a happens. And if we raise him on the river, not a happens. So flex. Gotcha, Samuel. -ha 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 -ha. I'm going to text him. I'm going to text him privately. Yeah. Oh, I got that Vineyard View to do. Shit. Right now. Okay. I'm going to say, nice try, buddy. <laughs> okay. See, check raise with the 5-3. I told you he's going to check raise a ton of hands. He's a good player. Going for it. All right. I've got to do this interview right now. Uh... Do, 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 do. All 
All right, so the interview should be, it's 2.30 right now. Let's see, watch, they'll call it 2.30. Here they go, there you go. Hello. Hey, Daniel, it's Herb from The Score. How are you doing? I'm doing great, buddy. How are you guys doing? Doing excellent. We are about a minute away from getting on with Dan McNeil and Danny Parkins, and we really appreciate you coming on with us. The guy's really excited. You got it. No problem, guys. Ford, safety recovery guides, and more. It's part of our commitment to... No, 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 commercials. Okay. Hold on. Put it on speaker after commercials. Position raise. Steve86, why do you prefer your chips in big blind format? It's way better. I mean, it's much easier. Like, what do I have now? 146667? No, I have 91. Easy. I don't know, I'm gonna get in trouble for that because you're putting sales. Sports Radio 670, the score. doing great man as we speak i'm currently streaming live on youtube and playing a little world series of poker on gg poker you know what that's uh it's an incredible amount of multitasking yeah no you kidding don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't get are we gonna distract you in any way are you concerned nah you're good my favorite subject of all is hockey so i'm excited to you know get chatting about this great matchup we got Okay, so if I'm being completely honest and you look at history, you know, I think we're 8-1 and one lifetime against Chicago. We've handled them pretty well. I think we match up incredibly well. The Vegas team doesn't look like Edmonton. You know, Edmonton's kind of a two-man show with two superstars and a bunch of, like, scrubs, if you will, for the most part. Vegas is very, very deep, and I think it's going to be too much for Chicago to handle. I don't think you're going to see guys like Matthew Highmore on the fourth line running it up uh, against, uh, a, you know, a stacked team like the Vegas Golden Knights. Well, there's not only the depth. You, you also have to look at another factor. We picked up at the deadline an additional goalie in Robin Lehner, who's a top five goalie in the league as far as I'm concerned. His numbers have shown that to be true the last couple of years. So this is going to be an interesting playoff. Normally, it's every other night you have a game. Well, games three and four, as far as I know, are going to be back-to-backs. So we have the benefit of going, you know, Lehner Flurry, which is two top-notch goalies, and I think that might be a little bit difficult for... Chicago, who's obviously going to rely on Corey Crawford, and they acquired Malcolm Subban from uh, from us. Um, on the defensive end, it seems like you know Chicago has a lot of holes there, uh, not as deep. The team's a little bit more older than it has been, you know, sort of hanging on to those cup runs of old. And Vegas is really hungry, as you could see in the 
round robin. You know, they made a couple key comebacks, but beat some real heavy teams. So I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be, I would be more surprised if Chicago won the series than I would be if Vegas swept the series. Yeah, Robin Leonard, who spent some time here getting the start over Marc-Andre Fleury. You can do worse than having the NHL's fifth all-time wins leader uh, backing up your starting goalie. And we have Corey Crawford, who has overcome a ton of concussions and the coronavirus. So, uh, but, but we'll, we'll take our chances. Did you enjoy the Hawks from a, you know, just from a pure hockey standpoint, even though it's not your team, you're a Torontonian. Sorry about the Maple Leafs not being good in a long time, Daniel, but did you enjoy the pure the the way the Hawks played the game during the dynasty years when they won three cups in six years? Oh God, yeah. Not only that, I mean, just even in the first series against Edmonton, like if you're a hockey fan, that was the series to watch. You know, high flying, lots of scoring. Um, on my fantasy team, I've got one of the Blackhawks, a young kid named Adam Boakvist. So it's fun to watch him, you know, as, as he's learning the ropes. But yeah, Chicago is one of those teams. It wasn't like watching the old days of New Jersey, who sort of clamped down and you know, neutral zone trap back in the early 2000s. Uh, Chicago pushed the envelope offensively. Definitely a fun, dynamic team to watch with you know Seabrook and. Duncan Keith back there, obviously a little bit up in age now, but it looks like uh, Duncan Keith is, seems rejuvenated after the pause. Yeah, four months off certainly uh, it was, was good for his legs. We're, we're talking to Daniel DeGrano about the Vegas Golden Knights. We'll get to a little poker maybe in a minute. Uh, what has your impression been overall on the quality of play since hockey has restarted in this like, weird situation we're all watching? Well, I think it's been really good, and I think for hockey betters, you know, I, I, th- I think a lot of people weren't really sure what to expect. Like, all right, you know, is the pause going to allow for the more skilled teams to just kind of run over, you know, other teams? Or, or is the, are the teams that are built better defensively going to, you know, do well? And it seems like if you look at most of the matchups, you look at Columbus against Toronto is probably the prime example. Um, good defensive structure like the Islanders had against Florida seemed to win out. So it'll be interesting to see if that holds true going forward um, now that we have, uh, you know, the official bracket of 16. Yeah, it wouldn't, right? Because, I mean, you think of Las Vegas, you don't think of it being like a hockey town, if you will, right? But neither was San Jose. San Jose wasn't exactly a hockey town, and they were the first sport in. Um, and, you know, they became like, they, they, they became the team to root for in San Jose. Um, as far as Vegas, yeah, I mean, initially we knew that people were not necessarily hockey fans, but Vegas, this, this is sports fans, right? That's where sports fans go to watch the NCAA finals, the Super Bowl, all those kind of things. So, once people had hockey in their first professional team, I think we were blessed to be the first to market rather than, uh, you know, have like the NFL and the NBA come in and then hockey trying to like compete against that. We've got a, a foot up now. So when the NFL does come, I think that, you know, the fan base is solidified in Las Vegas. The fan base gets treated to a trip to the cup final in, in year one. Uh, what, what I won't mind about the series being played in Edmonton is being spared all the pregame stuff. That you guys do out in Vegas. That's, that's sensory overload, man. I need a Dramamine before that thing. Too much fun for you, huh? Wah, wah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a Vegas guy, Daniel. I was, I was like, that is perfect. Like, that, yeah. That is fun. Hockey in Vegas, that's what it should look like. I would have expected nothing. Yeah, like that. I mean, that's the one thing we knew when Vegas came into Lee. We know how to do glitz and glamour. So our pregame show was like nothing anyone has ever seen before. And of course, now you're starting to see some other cities kind of try to like copy it. It's hard to copy a, an original like Vegas, but uh, it's fun, right? It's fun. A lot of kids love it. They love the videos that go up on the screen. We've got our, you know, golden knight out there with a sword pulling it out of the stone. I mean, it's a little bit cheesy. And after you've seen it about five, six times, maybe you're like, all right, we need a new fresh one. But a lot of people going to their first game, it's it's what a kid will remember. And I, I bring a lot of kids to the sure. games because I got... 16 seats there. I got season tickets for the kids as well. And that's one of the biggest things they remember, you know, is that intro, which is very special. What's Vegas been like uh, in this world of COVID-19? I would imagine it's been kind of eerie. Well, you know, I don't leave my house, right? I mean, I'm in Cabo right now, but uh, as far as like, you know, when I am in Vegas, we were staying with the quarantine and, um, you know, see things seem to be pretty good in terms of like everyone, you know, adhering to the protocols and whatnot 
And then we started to open things up a little bit. And as you'd expect, the numbers started to spike because we were supposed to have a hub city in, Ve in Vegas rather than Edmonton. But then, you know, obviously the NHL, I think they made the right decision. They noticed the spikes happening in Las Vegas. Also, Vegas is a city that might distract some of the players where Edmonton, it's like, what are you going to do? Are you going to go bowling? Are you going to play ping pong? You know what I mean? So it wasn't exactly, uh, you know, it, it was probably the perfect choice for them. But I mean, yeah, seeing Vegas dark on the strip, that was certainly, you know, felt a little uh, ap apocalyptic. We're talking to Daniel Grano here on the score, big Golden Knights fan and uh, Poker Hall of Famer. So you, you campaigned to bring pro hockey to, to Vegas. How is the campaign going to get online poker federally legal, Daniel? Because I was in college, you know, 06 to 09, grinding out poker stars, party poker, the whole thing. I, I need it back in a big way. Yeah, well, listen, we're working on it, right? At the federal level, I just don't think, you know, it's going to happen anytime soon. They've got bigger fish to fry right now with a COVID response and everything else going on with the election. But uh, on, on a local level, I think state to state, if you can bring in California, which is a tough nut to crack because of uh, a lot of the Indian tribes there, if you bring in a New York, those are really big markets and it would really bo boost the economy. There's other options too, other states and stuff, but I think that's where we really have to look at is like, you know, getting, getting your state senators or whatever to, uh, to take a look at it and realize, you know, this is free revenue. This is a free opportunity for, you know, the, uh, the city to have a little bit of influx of funds, which seems like right now would be a good time for that. Yeah, we just got legalized sports gambling in, in Illinois, so I'm like, come on, if I can bet on a, if I can bet on a sporting event, I should be able to play a skilled game like online poker. It seems too obvious. Doesn't it? Right. Yeah. Like, obviously, there's no real argument. But the truth is, a lot of the politicians that make the decisions, they really just don't get it. Like, they just don't know. And listen, that's not a priority for them. Like, running water, street signs. Like, the, most people in their, most of their constituents don't have online poker ranked very highly. Because I've spoken to a lot of the politicians when I went to Sacramento and different things. And they're really, like, green to it. You know, when they talk about the internet, they talk about it as this... I don't know. They, they just really they just have a really bizarre way of describing how things work on the internet. Like Sheldon Adelson at the top of that. Like he's so clueless. He's like, he really just doesn't know how all this works. They, they should watch rounders because they would learn. Like Danny just said, it's a skill. It's a skill game, Joe. You know? See now, Daniel, I'm not a poker player, but I love poker movies. Um, and I have to ask a world champion poker player, which which was your favorite of all the great poker? I mean, it's rounders and then the rest of them, okay? You know, rounders is, yeah, rounders is like a cut and, bu cut and above all the other films. Like, if you are a professional poker player, it's a cult classic. It's the one to watch. It's the one that gives you the feel. Like, I, anytime it's on TV, like if I'm at home and rounders is on, I'm watching it. Like, it's, 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 it's on in the background. How jealous are all pro po uh, poker players that Johnny Chan, the guy who got the D in the movie? I know maybe not for Eric Seidel, but I mean, I have to imagine that's something guys all look up to Johnny Chan I mean listen he's the perfect guy right Johnny effing Chan as we you know we like affectionately call him in the poker community um, you know he was perfect for it I think like he, he played the role really well I think Phil Hellmuth was supposed to maybe get that role but um, I think Johnny Chan was a better fit for you know that kind of allure of what he was looking for Hellmuth talked his way out of it well Hellmuth are you kidding me Hellmuth would have wanted to do any and all of it. I mean, this guy will, anything publicity related, Phil Hellman's going to want to do it for sure. So I'm sure he was bummed not to get the role. So as you're grinding now and you're live streaming and all of this, like so much of your reputation is, the, you know, calling out hands like when we brought you in and all this. I know that you can spot a tell by betting patterns and trying to uh, how they play a hand and all that. But like, do you find your game to be impacted greatly by having to play more online and not as much live anymore? Honestly, I enjoy playing online. It's just very convenient. Like I'm not wearing any pants. I'm pretty much never put on. I never wear pants. I'm in underwear all the time while I stream and while I play. So you don't have to don't have to go anywhere or around smelly people. Um, you do give up a lot though, right? Because you know I can't see people's faces, so I have to take notes and kind of pay attention other ways. So, I mean, so you, but you prefer it because of the convenience and just like do you find like it impacts your expected value? Yeah, no, I definitely think there's no question that, you know, I'm going to do, I'm going to make more money in a live scenario because I, I can add like new reads and different things like that. But uh, I mean, you know, like I said, the convenience is worth a lot and I still feel, I still feel comfortable playing online. 
um, you know, and that my game is solid enough to do real well. What hockey bets do you have for the upcoming series? All right, so we have a bunch. We've got, well, we have, for game one, we have Tampa Bay. Today, I have Tampa Bay for the series. I took Vegas. Sorry, guys. I laid a big price, 317. Um, and I also have uh, Dallas. Uh, what did I put? I, I have a Twitter handle called at NHL Hockey Bets, and I posted them all there. I got a couple. Oh, shit. Oh, hung up on me. Ha! Ah, oops. Oh, well. Long interview anyway. It was supposed to be 15 minutes. I think we're right about there. Oh, well. Anyways, that's what I do a lot. Just people make me do interviews and All right, 40. I'm so annoyed with that king queen hand. I I I actually knew what I was doing. I decided to check that back. So a lot of you are wondering like, "Oh, he must have been distracted radio show." I elected to check that back. Um, and hope that a situation came up just kind of like it did, where I'd flop a better pair than my opponent and be able to get three streets of value, but uh he hit the uh, Miracle Jack on the end, so so that was unfortunate. Yeah, so we're still doing fine. Third, damn, that was annoying pot. We still got 83K, that's good. It's only, well, how many players left? 192? Man, this thing's a fast structure, yo. Six-handed is no joke. So half the field's gonna make the money pretty quickly. Hmm. I'm getting texts from Mike Matisell, if you can believe it. So, with three big lines, we can fold. Oh, Jesus. That was a mistake. What, what was a flop? All right. Whew. I did not know. He, that was a good move on his part. I freaking picked up my phone to look, and he kept one bet back. Because you hear the music when someone's all in here. Dun, 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 dun. And I didn't hear that, so I was like, oh, he's making 3X. I can't call a 3X raise. But I pro that theoretically that was a call, but we missed, so yay. Fungus wonders if bracelets get mailed. They do. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Sorry about the radio call, guys. I got you know I got stuff to do sometimes. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna have the wife come down at three o'clock. Okay. Uh. All right, so on the break, I'm going to start the cook, make that pasta, and then I'm going to have the wife help a little bit because she is up and about. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yep, yeah, so we heard the news. Political. I'm not going to talk politics on here because it ruins the entire chat box. You guys all go fucking mental, insane, so we're not even going to mention. But yeah, something happened today, politically. Some Something happened. I'm not even going to... I'm home. It really is frustrating because you, know, you guys go not very nice in the chat to each other. I wish you would all play nice, nice. Hmm. Let me see that king queen hand. I'm not gonna fold to that guy in that spot. I mean, a lot of draws missed. I mean, what? If he has a jack, he has a jack. I can't just fold. My hand's too strong to fold the king queen. All right. So notice the big blind this time has four bigs. We're fine to play against that stack size. Land on it. He's calling. All right. Well, he's only got three bets left, so we can't fold. Not a good flop for us. He's got queen high. We have ace high. So hold, in other words. All right, we got to fade a queen or a seven. He did the old stop and go when he missed, and we busted him. All right, cool. Back up to 40. All right, we got deuces. We'll come in with a raise in this spot. Six-handed Guillaume Nolet. Who's that? Let's see. 315k in winnings on GG Poker. I think with deuces, I don't mind. Oh, I was gonna say with deuces, I don't mind everybody folding. Let's see if we would have hit one. Nope. Whiff. All right. Let's
let's see, look, King Eight of Hearts, not from this position. What do we got here? 88K, averages 87, 88K. So we're right around the average stack. 36, 37 bigs. Had that unfortunate King Queen. But yeah, I mean, looking back to that King Queen hand, I don't see myself just folding because he bet the, you know, jam the jack. I mean, yeah, obviously the jack is a big part of his range, but it's not like we can just go, fold King Queen. If we're folding King Queen, we're folding way too often. Trust me on that one. All right. Dun, 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 dun. So we got four minutes till break time. I'm gonna tell the people. All right, still chugging over here, but average stack with 178 players left. Uh, we're sitting right in the middle. Pays looks like uh, 89 players. It's almost three o'clock. I'm gonna have the wifey come down and help me with the cook, the vegan bolognese we're gonna have. It's a yummy dish. She never made this one for me. I give her, the, give her the, the deets. I'm sure she'll do just fine, right? It's gonna taste yummy because it comes with love. Uh, did I hang up by accident or did the line get disconnected? They said it, they, the call dropped on their end, so I am not entirely sure. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we're going to go another hour on the stream since the wifey's going to help with the pasta. All right, two more big blinds from Robert Rubinello. We are going to call in position with a garbage hand. If flopped any pair, we would have been good to go with it for a little while, but that's a whiff if I ever saw one. So if you see bets here, we will bow out. But we don't fold a lot of hands in position, especially suited hands against a small wine raise. And we would have whiffed out. Okay, sitting on 33 bigs. Got the 3-5 off suit. Uh, having said that, we will limp if it's folded to us. We limp pretty much our entire range Take a free, if he raises, we'll just fold. But you're getting a really good price to just limp in and see what you can catch, you know, when you're in a small blind. This is a spot where I'm gonna try to steal it. 1.2, I can't win a showdown, right? So, I mean, I could have a king, I could have a lot of hands. All right, we got a three, that could win. That could be good. I'm gonna check, hope he checks back with ace high or some queen high. Three, eight, all right. Good for you. Well done, Wendy's. Well done. Had us crushed. Doom, doom, doom. All right, gotta fold that one. Mm. Man, action comes around quick in these six max events, bro. Johnny Chan, the master. Johnny, I said Johnny effing Chan because I was on radio show. So I know how to not say fuck. Johnny fucking Chan. YouTube allows it. So we'll go with it. Zoom updates, what do we got? Another minute or so. And then we're gonna pee and then I'll set up the set up the food for the, the wifey so the wifey can help. Chop up the garlic, chop up the onions. Da -da 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 Whoa. Wow, somebody just wrote a whole wall of chat. <laughs> Not reading that. It was like this thick. Now I call it thick, the chat. We've got a pair of sixes. We're gonna raise. Let's see what the stacks look like behind us. All right, Jack King off, folds. Julius Salinas, don't shove, please. You did that last time. You did it once, so just let me have one. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm. I haven't heard anything on Brad Booth, guys. Brad Booth, good dude. Can't find him. His family's looking for him for a couple weeks. No idea. Brad Booth. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we are on break. Yep, all right. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen.
shower. I'm going to go ahead and set this stuff up when she's ready to make a meal. Put the tomato paste, the stuff, whatever. Just help her out a little bit. She's new. Oh, hey, y'all. It's me here. <laughs> so, yeah, got blocks of tofu. I'm going to measure the things out. There's no measuring thing. Right here. Good job. Got five minute break. She can handle this. I don't know why I'm making this. All right, so measure. Measure everything. Tomato sauce, the whole spiel. She'll be down after she's good and ready to finish. 245 grams of tomato sauce. Here we go. We might need to open another can. Nope, I think we're good. I think we good. 245. All right, sweet. There we go. Look at that. What? 35, 32 grams of tomato paste. I've actually become like a cook, cooking lover ever since I've learned. Joel is the guy who cooks for me home, but uh, being able to do it myself and eating the meals fresh is kind of nice, actually. 32 grams of tomato paste, that cover, this cover, and, uh, yeah. We'll get her done. Now where do I put my cell phone? Oh, I don't know. Jack and Deuce. A little bit of garlic. Garlic. Open that up for her so she doesn't get her pretty fingers all stanky. Alright. This one we would fold if Robert goes and heads and raises. He doesn't. I'm going to check back. Click a free flop and flop the Jack. That should be good. We're going to 
play it slightly slow. I'm gonna check back. That's a good card. This wouldn't be a bad spot to throw out one bet. We're gonna do that. One big blind, hopefully he has a four or king high. King high could get curious. There we go. Now we're gonna bet two point two. Right, he could have a better jack than us. That would be bad. He could have an ace. I mean, geez. Folded. Okay. That's a spot sometimes, guys. you got to ask yourself, all right, I'm betting for value, but, like, if your opponent folds, you know, there's no value in it. So make sure that when you're thinking about it, think about, okay, not only, okay, I have the best hand, probably, but if I don't, is he going to call? You know what I'm saying. I know, freaking peeling garlic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Back at the tables. Got a little garlic. Don't want the wifey's fingers stanking the garlic, right? Mine or whatever. I'm a man. You know? I smell like garlic. All right. Okay. Oh, garlic's probably good for her. They leave the mosquitoes out of her way. Yeah. Where did I put my cell phone now? All right, what do we got? Queen 10, that's Parker Talbot. We're going to bet 1.3. It's a good flop for us. If you check raises, we're happy to get it in against the range of hands that he would do that with. All right, now I think it's just a jam. Let's just go. He called fast, man. What the hell you got, bro? Queen 10. Now you can't win. Queen 10, that's an interesting way to play it. Played it super slow on a very short stack. Interesting. Interessant, Parker Talbot. This was uh, very interesting, the way you played the Queen 10. Oh, how about we play a pair of king, and uh, we will open with a raise. If somebody is raising, we will open with uh, another raise. We'll, we'll see. Oui. All right, we're going to raise to 5.9. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know where I'm getting my cell phone. It'll be around here somewhere. I think up there. Oh, I got kings. Let's focus on that. How about that, huh? What are you going to do, Julio Salinas? Julio Salinas. Julio Salinas. You raise under the gun, you should have strong range. But you know, Dineggs has the strong range as well. Get this one. All right, another key pot here late in the tournament. A couple kings against a couple nines. Julio opened. We three bet. He decided to jam it in there with the pair of nines. Let's see, let's see. And it's a five. Let's go. Wow. And then let's go. Running hot. And then let's go. Good game. Yeah, there we go. Communicate with my face. 64 bigs, okay. Where is my wife? Where is my phone? There it is. I'm going to cut the onions here. Why the hell not? <laughs> kind of silly. I mean, she could just do it, but... That big old knife. What do I got? Three deuce? You know I'm not playing that. Why don't you just fold for me, guys? Huh? All right. It's the big fucking knife. Oh, I'll stick you. I'll stick you. Oh, I don't want to say that because I'll get banned for something. All right. Got a deadly weapon. Where the hell is my... I just had my phone in my hands.
We go not with onions while I play poker. Let's see here. I'm gonna raise jacks. Get the video. This happening right over here. See, I'm my own cameraman. I'm Chef Boy RD. Okay. Got my own cutting board. I'm bringing with me. cooking at the table. You got me doing this right here, and then, you know, this right over here. It's all right. Whatever. She's, she's still doing her thing, so I'm going to help, because that's, uh, that's what a good hubby does. I actually like the smell. It doesn't make me cry. I don't know about you guys. I'm going to tell her. I'm on the... I'm cutting onions. Better than cutting the cheese. Ha, 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 ha. See what I did there? Cutting the cheese. Get it? Because cheese, that's the saying for cutting the cheese. No, never mind. If you don't get it, what, do I, what can I tell you? Ooh, yeah. Onion down, onion down. Right. Three second rule, I think. Yeah, I was like less than a second. I'm cut that one off. It's fine. This is a little awkward, doing what I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? Cooking, it's like a cooking show now. But you can't even see, because you're all up there. All right, we're gonna limp in with the eight six. Cut some onions, cut some garlic. All right, buddy, you want it that bad? Go ahead, you take it. How about that? Okay, such is life. King and a nine, hmm? You and I. Against the 10 big blind stack, I think I can. Well, he actually just called it a queen 10, so I think I can open here. If it's folded to me. I'm going to open and fold to a jam. A little risky, but we're going to do it. All right, never mind. We don't have to. Hey baby, yeah, I'm still in. I'm cutting onions while I play. All right, look here. Here comes the princess. Come, princess, come, come. See what your husband is doing. You're coming to help make my dinner, and I started early, cutting onions stinks. at the table. What stinks? Your onions. The onions. Well, there's garlic too. So, hold on. Say hi. Hi. All right. Here's my wife. Hello, peeps. Okay. Yesterday she spent like six, seven hours with us. I we're did. here, we're here, we're doing all the things. I did all the work yesterday. What is that bump? That's my mosquito oh, yeah, bite. Mosquito this hasn't bites. gone She's away. What do you want? Oh, it's fine. You're, you know, whatever. I'm just okay. curious. Well, who, who's been freaking grabbing your titties other than me? Mm. You know? It's a big thing now. I grabbed your titties. You're my wife. I'm allowed. See, these are... That was a thing, right? People right. got mad about oh, that. Oh, I get offended. They Look how offended? upset. Look how upset she is because I touched her titty. Oh, no. I touched her titty. Ah, I bought those titties. They're my titties. Shut up! They are. <laughs> They're mine. I paid for those fucking things. Uh. Well, now it's our money, so hey. we pay. We pay. We pay. Exactly. We pay. Maybe it was okay. before that. All right. Baby's going to help me cook. Okay. How are you doing? I'm doing good. We are... I, I busted the first bullet, so we're on bullet number two. There's, uh, what is that, 164 players left, 98 get paid. 
I bet people are gonna give me bunches of mosquito remedies right now. Oh yeah. You see this? They, they oh. do like last time. This and this. I have yeah. two. Yeah. Okay. Just cover them up. How do you feel about cutting garlic? You want me to do it? I can do I it. Oh, I'll do it. It takes two seconds. I probably need it tiny. to make the mosquitoes stay off of me. Oh yes, I was Rub thinking. I actually said that. That you could like. Garlic needs to be cut finely. You just don't trust me to cut it right. No, I do. I don't know. I'm just here already. I'm already there. I love that you're doing this so stream. Isn't it weird? I'm also filming it in the vlog, too. I said I was coming. I know, but I was like, you know, I'm going to help my wife. Oh, you were like, she's probably not coming for like an hour. No, I know you're not like freaking Eddie and Melissa or late all the time. <laughs> my wife does, she's good. Her integrity's big. She like, Aww. she says she's going to be somewhere. She does. She's not late. She's not one of those women who's like, oh, yeah, I need for, I'll be there 15 minutes and comes two hours later. No, I'll just no, no. come not ready. <laughs> yeah, she'll come. What if she's ready no matter what? She walks right out of the shower ready to go. Oh, yeah. Shower or not, she's hot. Shower. All right, cool. we're going to check this one back. I could jam the Queen 7, but we're going to oh. just flop the middle pair, and then we're going to go with this one, probably. This is a 5K six-handed. 5K six max. So very action-friendly. you gotta, you got to play with a little more chutzpah. Is that any two can two? I think that is brand new. Oh, oh any two can two, yes. Yeah, this is an interesting spot now. I'm Isn't he a wild player? I'm going to check and then call a riverbed, I think. Oh, baby. Queen's up, babe. See it. Look at that. So maybe he bluffs if he has like 8, 10, 8, 9. This time I'm going to bet 3. 3 to 4.7. Come on, babe. Pay me. No, Roberto. Come on, Roberto. Can you call him babe? Come on, babe. Come on, pay babe. me. Come on, baby. Pay me, I said. Baby. Pay me. Pay me. All right. So here you have the garlic chopped. Okay. So what we need to do first is... Can you? Yes. There is tofu on a plate. Okay. Right over there. Mm -hmm. Can you chop it into these little blocks, like little tiny blocks? Square blocks. Yeah, little square blocks. Okay. And then. With this knife? Yeah, whatever. Any knife. Okay. So this is all done. This is all chopped up. We can bring this. Let's go over there. Don't cut me. Right. Don't kill me. Relax. Okay. I'm gonna put that tofu in the pan. that starts okay so what you need to do too is make the pasta so Lentils? yeah 62 grams All right. okay I know I'm barking orders at the wife while she cooks okay so what we need grams. you to do 62 grams of the lentil pasta while you cut those onions <laughs> no, uh, so you, you're, you're cutting up the tofu. That's perfect. That's good. And then what you yeah what you'll do is you put a little bit of oil 4.5 grams or 4, 4 grams of olive oil fold here and uh, in the pan, and you put the two, but you gotta make the pasta too. I'm doing the pasta. Put it All at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm boiling the pasta. Okay. Right. You boil the pasta because okay. it takes about the same amount of time. Okay, I'm getting the water ready to boil the pasta. Okay, good. You know how to do that. Doom, mm -hmm. doom, go, knights, go. Go, knights, go. We got 50 bigs, that's plenty. Okay. And then. And then you can put in once you once you uh oh you do the pasta first yeah. Wait, give me a second. All right, sorry, sorry. Let me just measure the pasta. Okay. Oh, I forgot to use the deck, the World Series poker deck. Let me see if I can change that right now. How many grams of pasta? Sixty-two grams of pasta. Less today. Yeah, different meal. Let's go to settings. Time. There's World Series of Poker cards. I'll, I, can, I can use the backs up. Kind of cool. Poker and onions. Ooh, an ace king. Ace king and a big blind. And how many players left? 152 players. We're sitting in 37th place. 
Come on, raise, raise us, bro. We're not gonna fold, we ain't scared. Hmm. Viva Egipto. He folds. All right, Rob, Roberto, this time I'm not gonna give you a free flop. Oh, how do they all fold to the big blind when I have ace-king? What was that? I need something to measure grams in. Where do you do this? What do you, what do you need to, what, do you, what are you trying to measure? The olive oil. So you take the cup and put it on the scale. Any like a glass, like you know, like a little drinking cup, like a small little cup, okay. like a Jack's now. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so then you put the cup on there, press the thing, and then. I thought you were using like a measuring cup. Nope. Hold it. She got it. So we got Jack's now. What the hell is everyone tanking because of the money? Probably. Maybe it's fifty away. It seems like it's a long way, but it's really not because the structure is super fast. All right, Roberto, come on. What the hell, Roberto? All right, we're gonna raise to 3.3. I don't raise often from the small blind, but this feels like the spot against Wendy's. The spot? The spot to do it. Maybe they'll re-raise. Yeah, they went all in, okay. All right, we got jacks, it's fine. Okay, this is the spot where we did re-raise from the small blind with jacks. This player decided to go all in with ace-10, went ham. And so far, so good. On the way to the river, just need to fade the ace ball. Just fade the ace, and it's just good. Yes, baby, we got a big old stack of chippies. Yeah, okay. sweet. One of those, one of my like moved up big time in the chips now. Eleventh. Yeah, eighty-five bigs. Woo. How many grams of olive oil? Uh, just four or five. Okay. It's four point five, but okay. yeah, I won't die from a little. Kev Conway, you are correct from Facebook. Amanda will attest. Correct. He was. He said something about me, and it's true. What? You know. What did you do? <laughs> no, nothing. He said something about I must have a. You know. Big dick. Yeah. <laughs> However, pretending I can't. Um, okay, so tofu in the pan with the olive oil. Okay, so first, yeah, first put the olive oil and spread it around with like a fork or something because it's not a lot of olive oil. It's not no. And then throw the tofu in first, and then you can throw the onions and the garlic in there as well. Oh my god, I'm a chef. Yeah. And then you got the pasta coming. Do you have a oh, and you put it on medium heat. That's what I was going to 1.3. Medium heat. Okay. You have a nice garlicky, oniony smell. You guys won't smell it, but... Oh, you know what else I forgot? Oh, I'll, I'll do it. I'll tell you in a sec. All right, so far so good. 88 bigs. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm gonna take a video on the way, because it's fun. Multitasking. All right, I forgot what I was going to do. Let's do that. Okay. 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 We multitasking on our way to another deep run, people. We're gonna freaking stick with y'all. Why the hell not? Bringing me luck. 88 bigs sitting in ninth place. Out of 141. Frankie Bones asked if I own any guns. Just these, bro. No, I don't have any guns. Here with me. I do have a whole military arsenal at my house. Because, you know, if you want to comp step, I'm like, I'm ready to go. No, I'm kidding. I'm not really a gun guy. Never shot a gun or anything. 
Hello from Russia. I love you. You're the best poker player. Iopi Oyopa said. <laughs> block that guy, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna block you. Hold on. I think you're too sensitive to be here anyway. That guy, blocked him. He's like, what kind of a stream is this? Huh? Can I change the felt color? Because you're getting tired of green. It's amazing how people say stuff like that. <laughs> like, hey man, I'm a viewer. Like, do you mind changing? Because I'm like, uh. Oh, we got a lot. Of, we got a ton of viewers today. Like, sorry. Everybody's on, on, on here watching us deep in this 5K. Lots of people. Sweating the 5K six Mac. All right, we're at a new table with Connor Drynan. We got a bet against him. Mustafa Khanit. We don't have a bet against him. All right, let me see what we got. Let me see. She's cooking up a storm. My wife in the kitchen. Barefoot, maybe pregnant. <laughs> I'm gonna do that again for the vlog. See if we're gonna act now, I'm gonna act in the way. All right, my wife in the kitchen. Barefoot and maybe pregnant. See, it's my acting skills. I already said that just now on the stream and I thought, hey, you don't say that to the vlog. So then I did it twice, huh? Almost the same, the first one's always better though, right? Yeah. I know, right? It's a very oniony dish. You wouldn't like it. Very strong. I like the garlic though. Yeah. All right, how are we doing here? We're doing good. 65 bigs, sitting in ninth place. It's funny because there's some big stacks here. This guy, Andrew Mick, is the one who beat us with that Jack Dewey. Wah, wah. So we're pretty close to the money. Once again, pays 98 spots. Love from Turkey. Sirkan Hoka Il Yukis What the hell? It's a mouthful, bro. Coca Dolzis. Oh, whatever. Karen Singh. Tofu with pasta. Yeah. Yeah. She said, yeah. 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 You hate it? Don't eat it. I'll fucking eat it. How's that? I like it. Tastes good to me, yo. <laughs> yeah. People always say that. They don't even taste it, and they're like, ew, 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 ew. They've never tried it. I'm like, ew, ew, hate it. Nowhere Cam says he would die as a vegan. I bet you wouldn't. What? This guy, Nowhere Cam, says he would die as a vegan. I said, bet you wouldn't. He says he can't eat legumes of any sort, including tofu. That's, there's other stuff. You can eat, can you eat uh, seitan, bio wheat gluten, other options for big protein sources powders, supplement, you'd be all right. You'd be all right. Anab Wakar, low from Pakistan. This takes a while, right? I don't know how it's supposed to look. Yeah, you can add now the, uh, how, much, how much time do you got for the, is the, is the pasta boiling? I just put it in like two minutes ago. Okay, so that, so then you can put in uh, the tomato paste, which is, Well, no, just give it a minute. Yeah, stir in the paste first. Now I'll look, I don't know how to make this one. 
Yeah, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy, right? Yeah. I I do want wine, I'm, but I'm like, I don't want to open up a bottle of wine. If I get drunk on stream, actually today, no, tomorrow I'm going to have some drinks maybe. You? In a double step. Or we. Do you need to plan that with me? Yeah, of course. My wife. Plan that. All right, so how are we doing here? We got... These are cute little Coke Zeros. Look how tiny they are. Hmm. Hmm. I never drank this stuff until I started this diet, and then I started doing more carbonated waters. Occasionally have myself a Coke Zero. My fault. That's fine, it's not your fault. It's Fritz Hortzman's fault. It's not a bad thing, because he, you know, he's my trainer guy, and he's like, because when I was cutting, one of the things that carbonated water or drinks will do is it'll uh, appease your appetite. So, you can add the tomato. Yeah, we're about to do it. Okay. And then, if while the pasta's cooking, once it's all nice, you can sim you can put it on a lower heat. Just yeah. have it simmer. Let me show people how this is coming together in a minute. I think this is probably see we're just getting too good of a price. I think Mustafa knows enough that if we limp here, we're probably not balanced and will jam. But it's still worth the half a blind to try to see a flop, especially because we're talking about getting close to the bubble. Hands too weak to jam with, so I'm just gonna fold it there. Right, I'm the old school type. Well, it's because my mom. My mom was always, you know, like, oh, she cooked, clean, you everything. You picked the wrong lady. I didn't pick the wrong lady. I picked the perfect woman. Look at how you cook. Barefoot and pregnant, maybe. Pregnant. People are going to have comments about that. Oh, my God, he's so disrespectful saying a woman should be barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen. Yeah. That's so from 1950s. He's a misogynist. What is a misogynist that would be? Sexist, misogynist, the whole. They'll say, like, oh. oh my god, her tits look big. I bet she's pregnant. Her tits look big. Maybe she's. Maybe you are pregnant. <laughs> Be good with me. I'm good with that. Good with that. Doom, what did doom. you say to let it simmer? Just tofu? Uh, if like you know, if it's if it feels like it's but you, if the heat fits medium, it's probably fine. Yeah. And then you can put it in this bowl right here. It all together. Okay. I give a presentation. Uh huh. Yeah, I typically mix. Mm -hmm. Hi, Daniel. Enjoying the streams. Thanks, says Brian Ard. You're welcome, pal. Hmm. 5K6 max against all the wizards. We bringing it. Let's see here. What's the score in that hockey game? 2-2 two, two still in the third. Oh, my God. Close game. Come on, Lightning. We bet on the Lightning today. We're down 2-1. They got to win that freaking game. What's going on? Late in the third. Ray? Yep. How many milligrams are your meds? How many what? Milligrams are those that you take daily? What? what mill milligrams of what? Oh, they're setting two and a half. Karp Soda says, do you speak any Russian? Bad words only. I know. Adin, dva, tri, chtira, piat. And I also know Skatina. Siem privyet, Skatina. That's it. So, I mean, I probably know a little bit more. But Kurva. Kurva is probably international. This means the same thing in Romanian. Bad words. Bad, bad words. Dipam, do you own a lot of cars? I would say no. I own my Tesla which I've had from 2013. And then I bought my wife a Tesla, which she drives. It's a big SUV and it's beautiful. Her car is way cooler than mine. Tesla. 
Tesla. Doom, 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 doom. I'll be with you all in a minute, get more connected here. So, oh my God, this is going to taste so good. It's going to be great because it's going to come with love. That's the key. That's what my mom used to do is feed, feed, feed love through the tummy or whatever. All right, we are sitting 12th place out of 125, and this thing's going to pay 98 spots. So right now is a time where everybody else is going to be like really stressed in the bubble, and you'll see some, a ton of short stacks. Let's see. I'm going to go look down the... You can see on the bottom left corner, I'm scrolling, scrolling down. So we'll just, we'll just get a sense of like, all right, we got guys with like, oh, actually not that much. One, two, three, four, five, six guys under 10 bigs only. So that'll change as, as, the, as we get closer and closer to the bubble, you're gonna see a lot of really short stacks. We're just like trying to scrape in with like one big blind or two big blinds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We know what I'll drink. What, what tomorrow's? Tomorrow's day seven. No, yeah. oh, the weekend maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll have a glass tomorrow. Why not? What do we got? We got bubble time. We got queen seven suited in the cutoff. We gonna push a little bit. Push the envelope, eh? Against that one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a very creative screen name he came up with with that one. I'm gonna say, come on. Oh shit. I'm say you suck. <laughs> Come on. He's not talking to me right now. All right, so confusing. So confusing. What else should I say? So sick. Fold. <laughs> All right, ship it, Mustafa Khanet. We like Mustafa, he's one of the good guys. Babe, we like Mustafa. He's one of the good young guys. He's funny, he's easy going, he's not like a, one of those you know, other ones. Yeah, he's, he's legit, he's cool. Salutare din Romania, maestro. Ce faci, bă, bă, ule, încălțat acolo? Vegan sushi. They do make vegan sushi. You basically think about, like, a lot of this, you know, you gotta be like, you like that fishy taste. Yeah. Well, a lot, I know she hates it. But a lot of, like, seaweeds and chlorella and, spirit, like, all the shit from the sea, like, has that fishy taste. So you can use that to create it. I don't like, I never liked fishy taste anyway. But you can do it. Like, they, they make these tuna rolls. They make, like, all kinds of fake crab. I don't know. You could do that. I'm just saying some people that like, they want that. Yeah. You know, they like the fishy taste. They want that dirty fish. Yeah, like seaweed. <laughs> seaweed stank. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She hates that. Yeah. All right, 122 players left. Six max means the bubble should go a lot faster because people just don't have as much room to hide, right? When you're playing eight or nine handed, you can just sit and wait and wait. But six handed, I mean, blinds are coming. You're... That's, what, that's what's fun. They're done? All right, I think the pasta is officially complete. Go away! Okay, I'm gonna, you gonna bring it to me? Yeah. Okay, just, Let me get it all together. Just gonna serve it. Get it all together. Okay. Wait patiently, my wife cooks. The, the meal tonight's even more complicated. Really? Well, it's, it's a Mongolian seitan with rice. It's got a few more things in it and it creates like Got to make like a sauce and stuff. That sauce is easy. It was just tomato paste and tomato sauce. All right. So we are close to bubble situation. That frees us up, right? Because we're like in a top stack situation. So unfortunately, we don't have a lot of guys that are super short, like looking to bubble. So they can see flops with me. Like this guy, Andrew, is a big stack. This kid right here, he jams. That's going to be a very strong range with 11 bigs. Because he's clear, you know, clearly close to the bubble. That would be committing... ICM suicide to just gamble feel foolishly when I raise under the gun. That's a 10K prize for 98th place. And we take it. We're happy with that. Very happy with that. Will the ocean waves from yesterday be in the vlog? I shot waves today, beautiful waves. We'll put them in the vlog. Kobe, what's up? Let me answer that. Why would I, when I, every time I see the word poop, I think I need to answer the question. Stuff is good, like, done enough. 
Oh, it's great, babe. You can just, I'm sure now is perfect. You mean the noodles or the sauce? The sauce. Oh, the sauce is way done, yeah. Right. The thing about tofu that people don't know is like tofu can taste like anything. Basically, like it's, let's say it's tasteless. It tastes like whatever you flavor it as. So, and also, you know, texture. You can make it a lot of different ways. You can make it crunchy. You can, like a little more burnt than the sauce. Yeah. Yeah, you like it like fried almost. Yeah. All right, we got four-way action. Some stacks over here on our table. Some players. Mustafa, Connor. I don't know these other guys. I don't have much winnings. Well, that guy does. Andrew Mick. He's got a decent amount. I wonder if I could check Ray's Robbins. I think I could, actually. Oh, some of the dishes. Mm-hmm. I did the dishes. She got me domesticated. What do you put on top of it? Oh, nothing. Just mix it. Oh, that's it? Yeah. It's already, I already put the herbs in there. I already put the herbs in there. All right, we got a video of my wife. All right, this is a, this is a, this is a, this is a moment. So once in a Enter. lifetime, sort of. All yeah. right, babe, make me that pasta. Put that right there. Good job. How's that? Looks good, honey. Thank you. That was fun. Was hot. All right, so this looks really hot right now. So I'm gonna yeah, let that so sit for a minute. Yeah, I just wanted to show it to you. Yeah, it looks good though. Yummy. Show it to the people over here in a sec. It's burning. Look. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, I'm gonna get in there. Look what my wife made me. All right. Let's see, hold on. Look at what my wife made me. Yeah, totally. It was fantastic. Fantastico. I'm going to let it sit because it's going to burn my mouth probably. Everybody's watching a stream today, honey. They're waiting on me. We've got a lot more people than ever. Do you hear me? They're waiting on you? Yep. No. They all think an Amanda cameo is coming. I think so. Someone wants to know where you got your glitter bedazzle mask. Glitter bedazzle. I'll look it up on Instagram and let you know. She'll let you know. She'll look it up on Instagram. Okay, I'm going to have my pasta now. Yummy bowl. Play a little poker. We're on the bubble. 115 left. And these guys do the thing where they tank. Makes sense. I understand. Hmm. Really good. Really good? Mm hmm. Yeah. Putting these right where I think you would put these. Oh, the, the dishes? Yeah. You're doing the dishes too? Relax. Oh my god. This is crazy. Ever been to Greece? You asked us that yesterday. We went to Santorini for our honeymoon. Let me eat in peace for a moment, okay? I'm gonna answer your questions shortly. Mm, hot. Mm, hot. I've never seen someone load the dishwasher like you do. How come? Like glasses on the bottom like that? Oh, I don't know. It's a different machine. I'm not really sure, so okay. I'll take your lead. I, I put them kind of both places. Well, I just put them where you put them because I feel like you get weird about it. So I don't care. Mm -mm. You don't like when Eddie does it? Well, that's my home one. <laughs> I have a system for home. And you know how Eddie's brain works. <laughs> what? He's just a weird way of doing things. He's like, I just thought like the plates and stick with this cutlery down there. He's watching right now. He's like, man, you're making fun of me. No. Our son, Eddie. Aha, that's right. Daniel's running a tight ship at home, getting served. Nice. Yeah. He's getting served. This isn't normal. I mean, this is normal. Just not by me. <laughs> you get served all the time. And serviced. And serviced. Served and serviced. On command. We got the jack ten of diamonds. We're gonna go ahead and raise five handed. Close to the bubble, as I said. Ranges typically tighten up. We don't care again so much about the bubble. Plus our chip stack is in pretty decent shape. Let's see what the average is actually. 148. So the average is only like 30 bigs. We got plenty. Connor's 
Connor want to get frisky with me? Out of position, bro? Don't do it. Smart, bold, make that money. All right, Andrew McDonald wants to get frisky from the blind. So this is a... Let's go one back Okay, we have nothing. Betting this flop, hoping he just goes away. Oh fuck, could have checked back and took a free one. Hmm. Hmm. Free one would have cost us more, I missed the straight throw. All right, Andrew Mick, messing with me. All right, he limped in. We're just gonna check back this ace over here. You know, that's not a bad spot, middle pin. This time we can bet and call a check raise. We wouldn't love it though, if he check raises. And if he leads, we'll just call. It's kind of fun spots in the blinds when the ranges are so wide, you know? Because, I mean, normally you wouldn't say, well, he could have queen deuce or five deuce, but in the big blind, sure I could. Especially when it's check. All right. No, you're good, babe. Not at all. David Kleschik asked me a question. I want to ask you the same question in reverse, right? Right? Like, let's go there. Let's start with like, why do you think? Yeah, yeah. Oh, nothing. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna reference it. I was. I almost went down that path, and I'm like, nah, nah. Andrew McAllister, is that him? Is that Andrew McAllister? I don't know who that is, but I guess that's him, right? Andrew May. All right, new table. Or no, new person. Derek Lip. So I guess Mustafa gone. All right, ace on the button. It's a raise. Strange spot with two guys bigger stacked than we are. We're top 20 stacked, and we got three players at my table with more chips than me. Or about the same. All right. Call from the small blind. I think our ace high. Certainly ahead of his range, his range of hands. Just fold, bro. You have like what? King, queen, high, some shit? Go away. Don't mess with this one, syphilis. His name's syphilis. Oh, fuck. Bro. Ah, would have hit that ace on the river. All right, guys. Keep pounding me. You got it. I'll be like hell news and be like, keep raising me, raise me, and you'll just give me all your chips because that's kind of what happens a lot. Hmm. Bon appetit from Lebanon, says Hassan Gamgouche. What you got going on now, my love? Oh, yeah? yeah. I'll, maybe I'll walk with you if, in 10 minutes. Yeah? No. I've got a break in nine minutes. I can't hang forever. I should put pants on. Or not pants, but shorts. I'm wearing underwear. I'm not. She's not. Ah, my wife's so dirty. Jokes. Hmm. going overtime, huh? I'm missing overtime for you people. Just so you know. Gross. You know what? I'm gonna put the overtime on right here. Oh I know, yeah, that towel I was gonna wash it. Yeah. Nasty. Mm-hmm. That was just about to be washed. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put wipes in. You want any you need anything? Any wipes? Yeah, because I'm putting my sheets in. You're doing laundry now? What the day is this? Laundry at home. This is insane. I know. I you doing same day, cooking, cleaning, and doing laundry. Like what? So crazy. I can laundry. <laughs> you don't. Yeah. I don't do laundry. That's a Joel job. 
Shout out for Anna. Jason Luck says, I'm your fave. Appreciate it. All right, we got a min race from Syphilis. Gonna defend our blind with an ace. Okay, yeah. All right. All right. I have a little something, something. Back doors, ace high. Oh, now's a good time to go to war, though. All right. Think for a minute. Tank. What's wrong with this NHL shit? All right, I'm going to tank and then I'm going to check. Because I was eating. This is really good, babe. Hmm. Feels like a card we're supposed to bluff at. We've got ace high, or he's got a small pair. Ace high, we chop again. He could have king, he could have now. Nah. I'm gonna give up on this one. What do you have? All right, ace high. Damn it. I guess I should have stole that one. It's all right. Small pot, two bigs. I think we were both extremely happy to split that pot. A little careful on the bubble. Nothing crazy careful, but slightly more. Food done. Now, um, this is an interesting spot because it is the bubble. Could just jam with 8 4 offsuit, but. Tricky times, 12 out the money. Both the boon easy, huh? All right, this is a good spot to bet. The, the odds of him having an ace are very slim because if it is you know near the bubble he should jam with an ace. Ten he could have. He's raising me. Okay, I have no idea what the hell that is. All right, bro, you get. I'm just gonna fold. Man, it's happening a lot. Good hand, Derek. What'd you have? I'm gonna say nice hand. Nice play. I guess I could have raised here too. Depending on how tight this guy's planning on playing. Eh, I might have got jammed on. What are we at? How many players left? 108, 10 away from the money. Let's see what. All right, we would have got a call for sure. Hmm. All right, so let's see, how short are the guys? There's like, huh, not that short. So basically, yeah, 10 big blinds or less from 95th on down. For, I want to do snap cams. I can't do snap cams on this stream. It will not work. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe it will. Hold on. Maybe it will work. Record a video. Nope. Yeah. So it's, I got a weird setup with the laptops over there, and then I got the monitor, so it's got to go through two things. I kind of want to see this overtime since we got a bet on it. Tampa Bay. Guy says, feels like it's I'm watching the big game again. Me flirting with my now wife. Mm -hmm. So cute we have that, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go back and see it. Dun, dun. All right, so this thing's not going to work for me, so keep it here. I feel like I can eat so much. You know what I think, babe? One of the reasons I'm burning more calories? Because normally when I would play, I would just lay down, right? But even you stream it, I hope you don't. 
But uh, I don't really stream at home. Oh, but it's only for an hour. And I've been streaming longer. And I've been hanging with the people. And I've been sitting up longer. So yeah. I wonder if that's part of the reason I'm burning more calories. Because today, already, let's see what my Whoop app says. My Whoop band says today. Teach me, teach me. I've already burned. Wow. I've already burned 2,500 calories today. And it's freaking 4 p.m. So I'm going to end up burning 3, 3,500. I've only walked 60, I've walked 6,500 steps. So went to the gym, got a workout in. You burn a lot of calories doing that. But I think talking to you guys, I talk so damn much. Just blah, 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 blah. I don't even know how long these vlogs are. I just freaking shoot video and then poor Christian has to edit it all, make it look cool. All right, 7-4 off suit. That's going to be a fold. I'm going to put shorts on just in case. Look at you. You're fucking really cleaning me up. I know. I was going to do it. You were not. I have. I have cleaned that. Have you? Yeah. Did you see what the cleaner for it? we have cleaner for it? There's stuff cleaner. Where'd you find that? Oh, look at that. Wife is freaking figuring shit out. Someone said, someone's, you're not an, a nice guy. What happened? I'm just gonna blow, I'm just, he just talks, says like, why am I playing in a 5K 6 max? Lighting 5K on fire, fuck you, idiot. I'm better than you, yeah. and you're blocked. What people, do you think I suck? Stupid. Look up that hidden office. 20 fucking years of winning, and you wanna come at me like, bro, <laughs> why are you playing a 5K 6 max? Burn my on fire. <laughs> Eat it. Huh? Let me, yeah, go for, check my hand in my bitch. 42 million. What? All right, break time. Break time is about five minutes. Shit. Six, seven minutes. How long? Five minutes.
on the, what do you call it, people who bought a piece, they're not eligible because I have one second bullet. They're not eligible for the Well, they don't get, yeah, they don't, they're not in the money. Just me. I will be. Because I busted the first bullet. What are you going to do? singing that song because it felt like heaven walking outside with my wife. She thought she saw a shark. No joke. And I was like, it looked like one to me too. I legit thought it was a shark. And it was like a piece of wood. <laughs> the waves are crashing, bro. So beautiful. What the hell, man? You can't get on the NHL or something? It's the alarm. Let me know to play. If I saw you in heaven. What was that meal called? The food what? That one? Mm -hmm. That was the uh, bolognese. Okay. It's like a take on, yeah, bolognese sauce. Okay. Mm -hmm. You didn't taste it, did you? did I slammed it pretty hard okay that's better what cleaned up yeah that's right okay yeah you just get blocked here so just so you know guys in the chat like if you try to be trolls I'm gonna if I have a video I'm just gonna block you real fast so Come correct or, uh, yeah, don't come at all. Or you just, you know, you can come, you just can't chat. <laughs> right? Five left till we're in the money. And the deuce seven is not going to get us into any trouble. So, how short are these stacks? Oh boy, there's a lot of guys under 10 bigs now. So, basically, 89 has 10 bigs and the rest don't. <clears throat> all right, Andrew. Yours for the taking if you want it. Got a deuce. Deuce is good. Check this one down to the river. Take my money off. Uh, I mean, literally every overcard is a possible hit for him. He might bluff us here. And that's okay. There's not a lot of chips out there to protect. All right. Check back. You have a pair, you win. Nope. Take it. He would have called a flop. I bet once, but he could have check raised the flop, and then I'm like, ah, fold. Hmm. Cause I know you won't be long here in heaven. Dun, 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 dun. Everyone's tanking now. We're not going to. We're just going to pre fold, so our ta my table will hate me. If I saw you in heaven. If I saw you in heaven, all right. So David Tokyo says I have the daintiest hands that he's ever seen. But I act so hard. My my wife loves my hands. It's a big thing for her. So my hands, I try to keep them clean and nice. They're big too. People don't realize. Yeah, they are big. Big hands. Big hands, big, big hands, big feet. That's what they say. Oh man, this thing's almost out. Juice. Okay, love. 
She gets an easy. Oh, your earbuds came, yeah. All right, fold. We're really close now, four away from the money. Oh, wow, yeah, four away, and there's one, two, three, four, five stacks under seven big blinds. So I wouldn't imagine it'll take too long playing six handed. Hmm. How much is 98th place? 98th place will pay you $10,721. There we go. Yep. There's the numbers. First prize is a grand total of $543,000. We want it. Let's run good and get it. At this point, it's going to be a big, important part of, the, of, our, of our success going forward. Cause I know it won't be long here in heaven if you know my name. Please stand by as hand for hand play is about to begin. I'll film that. Alright. All right, we are officially there, hand for hand, two, uh, three away from the money or so. It says 101 players left, 98 will get paid, uh, 10,700 bucks. So we just sit and we wait. We got our 34 bigs doing just fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does I know I belong? Hmm. Where am I standing? 30th of 100 right now. So above average. The average stack is 168,000. And I've got 203. These waves are sick right now. I really, I, for some reason, video just doesn't do it justice. Being in it is like just inspiring. I don't know. It's so inspired. It's See what's going on with this? Why can't I get on to NHL.com? There we go. Come on. Open up the page, bro. Thumbs up. Put to NHL.com. I don't know why. Let's see if I can get it on the phone. Calgary scored. Dube. Got him in my fantasy pool. Let's see, what am I looking for? N H L O T. Now let's look at Works today's diamond phone. performance brought to you by Ackerman Jewelers. I just love the Yanni Gord line. I think they've been terrific. They start. All right, I'm gonna watch the game while we wait, while I chat with you guys. I got the game right there. Overtime. We bet Tampa Bay. Decent amount of money. 98, we're in the bubble? We're in the money. Oh wait, are we in the money? Oh no, two, two away. I always just do that. The music starts, starts playing when uh, we're close. Tampa Bay out shooting them 46 to 33. Need a goal from the, I bet, well, I bet on the series it's had a decent amount and I got a little something, something on the game. Only game I bet today.
Michael Lenecki says he loves watching me, fellow Canadian. Never seen me in a down mood, buddy. Man, I have down moods. I go freak my. I lose my shit sometimes. Come on, bro. You must have missed that. I go crazy sometimes. Ah, wild man. It's good, right? This is the bubble music. So we've got a couple guys with under five bigs. As you can see there in the bottom right. Just moved it a little bit. So yeah, you got one, two, three, four, five, six players under seven big blinds. And then a few with seven, a bunch with seven, seven and a half actually. So basically 88th and below have seven and a half or less. So like theoretically, and this is probably the smart play, if you're playing for money at this point, you know, and that's a mat that matters to you, and you're in my position, you just don't play a hand. You know, you can just fold because you're gonna, you know, block yourself a, a, a spot in the money. We don't play that way because we don't play for money. Play for wins. Play for that stuff. But if you are trying to be professional and do the right thing, then you definitely want to uh, consider the ICM implications. ICM. ICM, buzzword. Come on, Tampa Bay. How are you freaking letting this team do this to you again? I'm supposed to beat this team handily. Columbus coming at you with the D and the, and the goaltending and the coaching. Tortorellas. Tortorellis. Okay, fold that quite easily. All right, still 100 players left. These boys, this stakes, they will hang tight. So Sohab Hashmi, can't play or see your cards if they stream your video. Yep, but not. Uh, but it's a five minute delay, so they can only see my cards five minutes after the hand is over. Brian Young said something and I agree with him. He says, I personally enjoy d and his vlogs and value to the poke community. I understand he is now so polarizing though. Yeah, that's good. I mean, you know, you don't want to be wishy-washy. If, if everybody likes you, then you're doing something wrong, right? You know, whatever. With those waves, huh? They're insane. I just do that to surprise you. Like there's a shark out there. Two away from the money, honey. Get it. Oh, one away now. One away. No mm. bubbling. Oh, we won't bubble. I got 33 bigs. I'm sitting in uh, 31st place. I have 99 or 100 or something. I gotta call the mother. Call the mother? She called while I was playing. Yeah. yeah. Is she watching? No, she's not watching. She, she was watching when you were. She wasn't here. I mean, when I'm on, mm. it's much more interesting. Yeah. It's true. Most deaf. <laughs> Joseph Hartman said, great stream with you and wifey. I love you. Easy woman to love. Come on, Tampa Bay. We got 5K on this. I'm watching it on my little phone because for some reason my laptop won't open any shell. Enter the zone, slap it, get it in there, boys. Oh. Oh, almost the goal to end it in overtime for the Tampa Bay Lightning. These bubbles take forever sometimes. So, zone out a little bit, watch some hockey. Hmm? 
Yeah. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have cash in the. To all these people. You listening? Cl close your eyes, everybody. Earmuffs. Earmuffs. All right, we're in the money. Yay! We have cash? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. We do. In my bag. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Okay. Okay. Trust. We got cash, money, money. Come here. Money. Well, she, money, money, money. She says money, yeah. No, in the money. You know what oh, I mean. Oh, I thought you meant. Shut up. Everyone's like, oh, man, it loves money. No, I love that you're in the money. Yeah. I get excited. I know, I do too. I want you to fucking win. I'm going to fucking win this one. Let's go. I'll be back when I call. Hi, Audrey, please. Someone told me to say hi, Audrey. So I said hi, Audrey. Just that easy. Get me to, like, you know, dance, monkey dance, as they say. Do, 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 do. If it, when the Vegas game starts, I mean, the stream's over, yo. Because we're going to watch that hardcore. That's at 7.30, so that's three and a half hours. I'll be done with the stream. I'll be done. Maybe even at, maybe on the next break, I might just switch over, yo. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Seven hours yesterday. You know, long time. Do, 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 do. Igor Tigui. Tigui says, "What topics do you cover when presenting at corporate events? It really depends on the corporate on what they're you know what they want, right? So I did one for like the T-Mobile group or whatever, and it was like you know focused on goal setting, uh, clear intention, standing responsible for your results, you know poker stuff, uh, analogies, all that kind of thing. So tie them in. What it takes to be a success." make the money here oh what the hell we only have 24 bigs how'd that happen I guess the blinds went up hmm. they do that so they're at 4 and 8k they do that we're still sitting 33 of 93 with a solid 24 bigs alrighty Andrew's raising two bigs we gotta call and flop a damn pair we didn't again all right, Andrew, you're killing me with that 3x from the small. Killing me softly with his rays. Killing me softly with his rays. Telling my whole life with his words. We might have the best hand, actually, here with Queen High. With his song. You know, aces, king, queen. He might have like a better queen, like queen nine, queen ten. Hopefully, it's like jack high and just gives up on this one. Nope, he does not. Killing me softly. I'm thinking about raising. It's like the queen of spades, and I think like it's a thin value bet. I'm gonna fold. That was close. I could call, I could raise, and I could fold on that river. All options were available to me in that spot, and I elected to give it up. All right. So now it seems like, you know, oh my God, you only have 21 bigs, but look at the difference between, we're, th we're like above average, or we're right around the average. We're sitting 38 of 85. Because right now, I mean, it's kind of crap shooting, especially six max. Just gotta run good from here. What does a chip leader have? Probably not even a ton, let's see. Chip leader's got 70 blinds, okay? 67 blinds, so this is very, very open game. We're gonna 
push the envelope a little bit. Try to steal the blinds with nothing. Eight and nine. Fuck. Whittle me down slowly. Don't you do it. I miss the flaw. Take your chips, Derek. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to do it again. In the cutoff with the A7. If I get shoved on again, then I fold again. Oh, 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 oh shit. Mm -hmm. All right, sweet. We got that. We got that back. So the the raise on the button. We lost two bigs, and then we picked them up. Uh, we picked up two point three. So we're over ahead. Overall, we're ahead zero point three. That's kind of how I developed the small ball strategy many years ago. I was like, all right, people fold their big blind way too often, right? So if I literally raise every hand, let's say I raised, you know, when the blinds are four and 800 with nine antes, there's 2,100 out there. So I was like, all right, if I make it 2,000 every hand, okay? And half the hands, I just steal it. Half the hands, somebody re-raise and I can fold. I make a chip every time, it's like I'm printing. In addition to that, every once in a while, I'll get a hand, right? is freaking Columbus in this game let's go Tampa I'm watching that down there watching you guys up here watching the chat Costin Rusu întreabă dacă vorbesc un pic de românește păi sigur că da ce crezi părinții mei au fost români și a învățat pe mine când am fost mic ok you guys are being assholes now a little bit right my mom my, my wife does not give a shit about money you just don't know her if you say that you're a fucking tool okay she just, that's not why she's with me All right. If she was, she could have had that money long, long time ago. Okay, way back when. All right? She doesn't spend money on anything. What does she buy? You know, like nails, <laughs> like little stuff. You know. What, what, what do you think she she's like lives? We don't go anywhere, bro. We stay home. We chill. We have like each other. It's just you're a dick if you think that. It's just really rude and obnoxious to say stuff like that because it's like your own incel kind of sh depression or whatever. Like you can't imagine that a hot girl like Amanda would be into me? Why? I'm charming as all fuck. <laughs> I say that in the whole most humble way possible. <laughs> And we've always had a good chemistry, but it's very offensive. I think it's offensive to her too, because it's basically, you're, 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 you're calling into a question like her integrity and her, you know, who the woman that she is, and she's a good woman. And when you guys say shit like that, that's when I start to think about, you know, violent things. It's just not nice. Do, 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 do. All right, I just get the blocks out. These guys are gonna start pissing me off. Do. Paul Buchanan, no, I don't think my statement of beating the top cash ring game players in a couple weeks was to be right to be mocked because it was a different time. There was no solvers and I'd done it before a couple years later. So no. All right, you're gone. Let's see, you're out. Hold on, block. All right, you want to see what country Derek is from? Let's see, Hong Kong. That's, I didn't know that. Oh, huh. I didn't know that was the Hong Kong symbol. Interessant. All right, someone just arrived. He wants to know the situation in the tournament. All right, we are in the money. 79 players remain. We're one of them again. This is our 22nd cash. It's insane of the uh, World Series of Poker in 2020. We're just making deep run after deep run every freaking tournament. Now we just got to run good at the end, right? We've got a good spot here, which is 78 players left. We're in the middle of the pack. First prize will be 531,000 plus a WSOP Europe package. Which is whatever. I mean, you could take people to give me that money. Sammy Hold'em. I just don't understand why Madison and Dean Eggs play 
ABC these days. Ham Sam Holden. Look, I I play ABC. All right, you do it. Huh? See, see if you can do it. Well, you probably could. I could teach you in freaking 20 minutes. All right, ace 10 suited. This is going to be a play, regardless of the situation. If Derek jams on us, we're going to play this one. It's too strong to fold. Although, we'd have to hope he's got like ace-9, ace-8 suited to be in very good shape. Or something like two eights, two sevens. Vapa cooler. Vapa cooler. From Uruguay. One million in earnings. Wow. Vapa cooler. I'm going to check this one back. Take the free card. Give him the free card. We should be good a very high percentage of the time here. Check back again. All right, so we've got sixes and deuces with the ace high. And that should be good to take the pot or maybe half of it. You got an ace also, bud? Queen high. All right, give me my money. Is it, what is this, overtime? Intermission, Jesus, they're going to double overtime in Tampa. Or I'm in Toronto. Double OT, huh? All right, we're going to fold this A6 right now. All right, going to intermission. I don't have to watch that. All right. Do La 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 la. Whoa. La. John Doe says you have a very punchable demeanor. <coughs> it's fair. It's fair. Yep. Come on. It's fair. Yeah, you know, fair is fair. Sometimes I do. Not afraid of confrontation. Ai făcut un singur bain? Nu, în turneul asta am făcut două pentru că am pierdut cu as și trei. Uh, el a avut o pereche de pop. But, but you are short. I'm not short. I'm right about average. As like I said, 247 is the average. I got 188. Plenty. Greetings from Finland, says AJ Eastwood. La 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 Raise with threes Raise Raise in the pocket threes Folding it to a three bed Raising with threes, raising with threes, pushing the envelope. Chris Moorman's in the big blind. He is, yeah, killing me softly with his song. La 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 la. Mm -hmm. It's a decent flop for threes, actually. This is a very aggressive player we're up against who may check raise with total bullshit. Like, just like nine queen with a claw. All right, thank goodness. Just go away. Mormon. We don't want to fight with Mormon in that spot. Take it down. 26 big blinds. Puts us at 212. Average is 258. La 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 mm -hmm. Oh, now people are trying to come at me, the incels. Listen, I'm sorry no woman would sleep with you because you sit in your basement and just spend time trolling somebody who's doing it in life. I'm sorry that nobody would sleep with you. It's not my fault, so don't take it out on me, bro. 
work on yourself, take a shower, clean your nails, get a haircut, get yourself in shape, learn how to talk to a woman. Then maybe you too can have yourself an Amanda. But until then, you know, you gotta live in the basement and just dream. You know, dream big though, might as well. All right, queen three against Mormon. We are gonna fold that, let's see what would've came. Nada. La 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 la. Mm -hmm. Good to hear Trevor Yella. He says, just got into poker and want to thank me for the videos and the short time he's been playing. He's learned a lot. All right, two eights here. This is an interesting spot. We could three bet. If we three bet, we kind of have to commit to it. So we're going to just call. And if Derek shoves and he folds, we might have to call that sizing. 15.7, 16 bigs. Yeah, we might. Or maybe we could still fold, actually. Probably, because he's not going to be shut. Oh, fuck. He did shut. All right, I don't think I can fold, actually. Oh, what do I do? This is a tough one. Tough decision. I think I can fold. 14 more bigs. Two eights. How? Oh, he's only played like 14% of hands. From Hong Kong. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. We still have eight bigs. I'm gonna lay it down, move on, try another hand. All right, ace on the flop. Very likely that the ace on that flop, we saved ourselves. Because for him to jam there, he's either gonna have a bigger pair or he's gonna have some kind of an ace, right? So, I don't wanna raise or, ah, fuck it. Let's, let's play a little more aggressive because I'm trying to win this tournament now. And I don't wanna have to fold this one. We're just gonna go cuckoo. 18 bigs, boom, jam it in your face. Come on, Derek. If you got a bigger pair than that, so be it. Odds are you don't. We are not trying to squeak into the money, although that eights, like I said, we would have uh, lost because like I said, unless, what does he have, like king jack, king queen? I doubt it. The sixes doesn't play all that well to a min raise. Because it's just like it's hard to play with that stack size post flop. So uh, I will re raise some, I will raise minimums a decent amount, but I know this Vapa Cooler guy is good. So because he's a good player, I figure let's just go with the what we know is Nash equilibrium, a positive EV play, which is the jam with the sixes, rather than min raise and then have to face a tough decision. Someone says poker is easy if you play boring like you. Yeah, guess what? Boring gets the fucking money, bitch. <laughs> you want to be all excited? Oh, look at this fucking check raise, re raise. Yeah, well, Ace Four did the fucking. You do that, okay? And then, you know, when we do come around, I will ask you, you will ask me if I want fries with that, and I will say yes, please. And then you'll do your job and you'll flip the damn burgers and put the cheese on them, and then you'll, you'll serve me. Because that shit lasts for a little while. But if you want to have a long, if you want longevity in the tournament poker career, you learn eventually that it ain't about how flashy you win. Okay? It's about winning the money. Doyle Brunson said that a while ago. People wouldn't even play on TV and no limit to turn cash games. Everyone's like, oh my God, Doyle, you play so tight, you play so boring, whatever, right? It's like he won every time. Like, what the fuck do you want the guy to do? He's there to win money, right? And he wins money. So, I mean, so hate all you want, bro, but listen, I know how to play the game. The game does come to me easy because most of these situations I've seen thousands and thousands of times, right? What flag is syphilis? He's Taiwan. We got Taiwan, Uruguay, Hong Kong, the United Kingdom, two of them, and then Canada. Oh, Canada. Our home and native land. True patriot love in all our sons come in. We hit the glow. And why am I singing that all of a sudden? It's bizarre. Listen, that's what happens. You get a little delirious when you stream this long, guys. I'm trying to figure out what's up on my laptop. All right, there we are. All right, go to watch. Every time I click watch, it don't work. All right, we're gonna raise this one. Under the gun.
the true no strong and free. Oh, all right, won't let me in. All right, fine, JennyChill.com. Thank you very much, Dan Rossa. Stay real and give zero fucks. Zero given. Yup. Daniel Brock something told me to stop singing You Suck. Now that's reasonable. I, I do suck. You're right. I po you know, I'd sing. I'm not a great singer. I, sometimes I enjoy it a little bit. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. Doing a little karaoke. Alright, who said that? Hold on. What a piece of shit this guy is. Hold on. I think you're gone. <laughs> Thanks for the feedback. What a piece of shit this guy is. And he's, he's watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> right? I do. Kyle Boyer, you're right. I do have a personality that makes you want to punch me. But nobody does. You guys all talk a fucking big game behind your screen, right? Like, well, and then you see me and you're like, hey, how's it going, Daniel? Can I get an autograph? <laughs> Seriously, that's what happens. These brave, tough, I fucking can't tell you how many times it's happened. These brave haters online, like, oh, look how cool I am. I'm talking shit about Negroni, blah, blah, blah. And then they meet me and they, they want a picture. Same fucking dude. And they don't know that I know, you know? <laughs> All right, Daniel Hinker, I'm glad to hear I inspire you, man. Very cool. Chase whatever you chase. Chase with all you got. With glowing hearts. If you oh, great job, Daddy P Daddy Six Daddy P six nine six nine says he made his first cash the World Series and final table this year in event twenty nine. Thanks to the master class. You're awesome, brother. Check out my master class. It's really good. I don't need the money, I promise. Okay? But it's like 80, 90 bucks. And it's, if, you don't, if you want to learn to play poker, you'd be foolish not to get it because it's going to help you. All right? I'm telling you, 80, 90 bucks, you're going to think about things in a different way. And, you know, you're definitely going to take some nuggets out there, out, out of that. It's, it, we put a lot of hard work into it. And I'm telling you, the response to the master class has been overwhelming, overwhelmingly positive. As overwhelming as people love the GG Poker software, man, because it's the best. It's just the best. I like the best. Mm -hmm. Wow, people talking about my wife's ass now? She's got a good ass. You don't see it. What do you, what do you want? I mean, fucking one of those things you fall into? All right, King 10, we're going to open that one on the button. Mm -hmm. 50 players left, man. We are freaking cutting through the field really quickly. Right? I mean, it seems fast as fuck. It's only 4.30. All right, we cannot call that. It's unfortunate. Uh, we would have hit a king. What are you going to do? You can't call a big jam like that with a king 10, but you got open. See, that's poker. It's very, very simple in those spots. Once again with the threes, this time we're going to open with a min raise. We're not going to jam this one. If somebody moves in, we have to fold again. Throw jabs, throw jabs. Be careful. Throw jabs, be careful. Papa Cooler may do it. All right. Can't call that one either. Basically like calling it all in. Yep. Missed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Down to 16 bigs. Oh, boy. So all of a sudden, we're 41 of 50 because it just, like, everyone's just going broke. Average is 336. We're on 165. Uh, not quite in desperate. I mean, we're obviously getting there because it's shorthanded. So we're going to have to start jamming. Do, 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 How many players left? 50 players? Come on, bro. I've come so deep in so many of these damn events. Like, thousands and thousands of players in these events, and I keep making it down to 50, 60, 40. So the key now is just like with a 16 blind stack, which is plenty, to just run good. Pick up some hands, win some hands. Do, 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 do. 
Why do people keep thinking I'm taking fucking drugs just because I'm aggressive? I don't take any fucking steroids. You people, so goofy, man. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah. I think my mod is probably like overwhelmed right now. Because <laughs> it's coming in hot. All right, we got the Jack Aid and the Big Blind. It's good enough to call a min raise from Chris or Andrew. All right, let's hit a flop. It's just a must call. It's decent. I mean, we have something here. You know, gutter ball, three three diamonds, a live Jack. All right, let's focus. Checking really quick. It's just no. He's got showdown value. He has ace high or something. Yeah, ace high. All right. I mean, if we bet the turn, he would have called, right? Because he didn't check back the flop to fold the turn. And then we bet the river. I mean, he's like we'd have to bet a lot. And you know he still make all with ace ten there, so I think we did good to get free cards all the way. We just needed to catch a six, an eight, or a jack, and we just didn't catch, man. We gotta catch, bro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, now we're getting to the t that point. So, you know, thirteen bigs for another four minutes. Here's where we gotta run good, y'all. Okay, do a little video. I forgot I'm vlogging. Sergio Aido. All right, this is going to be... So basically, based on the way that you know we want to approach this, I'm going to jam this queen jack. I don't want to have to open and fold to like a7 or something like that. So we're going to jam, push the envelope a little bit, and we're going to pick it up. All right, phew. You don't want to get called when you do that. 15 bigs. Got the four six. I'm going to update the people on the blog. All right, chat's been going a little bit buck wild. Hello, Jane and Finch. Current situation, I mean, players are just flying. There's 48 players left. We're sitting 40th with 15 blinds. And we've been down to this spot so many damn times. And now all we need to do is run good. Yeah. In all seriousness, I am vlog. I mean, I'm doing the stream or whatever, but I do feel really focused today. Like, this is the end game. And I realize, like, it's so hard to get here. And I keep doing it over and over and over, right? So now I just gotta really think through every decision and make sure I don't just do anything on autopilot and really break it down, right? Still can engage with the people, you know, in the chat and everything like that, but uh, every hand, I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take my time and make sure I do the right thing because this is a good opportunity, you know? Only 48 left, up top, 531,000 in a bracelet, plus for me, that's worth a shit ton more for the bracelet bets. So let's go, man. I'm here, let's go, let's do it. Vlogging. Whoa, that's uncalled for. Damn, it goes so fast. All right, I gotta block you. Oh, damn, I missed you. Ha <laughs> ha. Sometimes I miss them. They sneak away because this chat comes down so fast. Chris Curry, what does the money jump mean? Well, that means that, uh, so the next spot up, right now we're all guaranteed like 12,500. So in, if two people go not and get knocked out, that goes up to 14,500. So that's what's called a money jump. Basically it's in a tournament when, you know, the, the price, basically the payouts go up. It's called a money jump. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we got a good amount of people watching. And free from far and wide, oh Canada. All right, 60 suited. I'm going to defend my big blind against Sergio Aido. All right, I'm not going to defend my big blind.
Achim, other, any other streamer would have kicked the trolls out long ago. The problem is there's so many of them, and I'm kind of I have one mod who helps, but sometimes they come on once, and I can't. I don't have. I can't. It's hard for me to do it quickly. I wonder if I can do it from here. Let's see. Put user in timeout. Hide user in this channel. All right. I'm gonna limp here. And if he jams, I'm folding. I could jam with this hand. It's not the worst play in the world. But I'm gonna like to play carefully on this spot. I would trap here some of the time, and I think he knows that, so. That flop, I mean, Lex, listen, he's in the big blind, he could have two pair right now, so we're not gonna try to steal it. That's the hard part about blind versus blind battles. Board's like 10-4-3, I mean, what, is, what are the ranges? Like, two pair is legit, you know? everything There's, well I mean, basically he doesn't have aces kings big pairs we know that but we can narrow his range down to all right we need a nine i guess User on this channel that it's blocked, right? It sucks that I have to actually do this because people, man, you guys suck sometimes. You know? What are you gonna do? I'm trying to block everybody. I don't have time, man. I'm busy. I'm focusing. I don't have time to be looking through every one of your comments and be like, okay, jerk, gone. All right, we are down to 10.9 bigs right now. Still plenty. I'm telling you. One thing you learn playing the high rollers and stuff is that people have learned, and I knew this years ago that like 10 big blinds is not something to go oh well I'm all in you know it's still plenty to work with you don't have to although when you're playing uh, 6 max it um, comes around a lot faster Sean Godley, you know, the ace 10 you're asking about with Chris Mormon, it's possible that I could have bluffed him on that river, but I still think he may, may call with ace 10, and it's, you know, relatively risky. But yeah, we probably could have bluffed it. Probably. But, uh, I mean, I, actually, I don't know. I don't think he would have folded, to be honest with you. So, I think we saved a bet. All right, three, five of spades. I can lay that one down. We are still in this, y'all. 46 players remain. Sure, the chip stack doesn't look all that exciting, but listen, if you look at who the chip leader is or what the chip leader stacks are, this is where you realize it's like, wow, you're really close. The big, big chip leader has 70 big blinds, okay? Sixth in chips has 50 big blinds, 50. So basically that's like two doubles, you know, ish. Mansky, how did you start to play poker? Was your deposit 10 or 20 bucks? I didn't deposit. I, was, I started playing poker before online poker even existed. All right, that's a good break. We need to come in behind the button. There's our buddy Brandon Adams. Hunwei Lee. Somebody else. All right, we'll pick our spot. Bodyguard, when you buy a piece percentage of a poker player on GG, how do they pay you out? It instantly will go into your account. So as soon as the tournament's over or the person finishes wherever they do, if, there's, if they cashed, then you get the money in your account. And you'll get a little message probably that says, hey, congratulations, the player you bought a piece of is, uh, is cashed. All right, so King High busts our boy Brandon Adams. Another one bites the dust. There's only 43 players left. We've moved up in the money jumps, but we don't really care. Oh, again, we got moved. This is crazy. We, like, never play a hand. Just get moved table to table. Okay, so we've got 42 remaining. This is pretty nuts how many freaking deep runs we've made, right? But I'll tell you what. Most of the deep runs, I don't stream them, so maybe you guys will be lucky. Maybe you'll be lucky for me. Mm-hmm. 
hockey. Well, let me see. Why is the hockey game back on? What does first place pay? Should say right there, 531,000. I'll say WSOPE ticket. Mm -hmm. I will say this, when you're down to 10 blinds, like at this point, like the game's kind of easy, right? You don't have a lot of decisions to make, you know, you're pretty much, at this point we're going with it or we're not. Rotari Lorenzio says, remember guys, press the like button for our legend. All right, thanks. I don't know what that does, but it's cool. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. Three minutes till break time. All right, what do we got here? A limp from the cockroach. I'm gonna just assume that he's somewhat balanced here. And it's not, let me see, let me make sure I know this guy. I'm gonna check this one back. I have a feeling if we jam, he's gonna go snap. Snap call. Take the free flop, move on to another situation. Not gonna continue on this board. Totally whiffed. Oh, yeah, I don't think he was messing around. Let's see what it came. Not ah, nothing. All right, so probably, I think we saved ourselves from going broke. Mm -hmm. All right, this could be it. All right, let's get the freaking camera out. Probably jamming this hand, unless, you know, we'll see. We shall see. Oh no, under the gun raise, and we're gonna actually lay it down. Boom. Camera ready though. I'd much rather fold this hand and move all in on the button blind with two cards, any two cards. Viktor Kudinov should have a hand here. Kudinov from Croatia, Russian Federation. <laughs> Oh shit. Seven nine off suit. That is not a jam. Again the cockroach is limping. <laughs> the cockroach, it's a great name. Yeah, gonna need some cards. Doo, doo, doo. Doo, doo, doo. Still in there. Nine, seven, pocket fives. He limped with the fives, huh? That's an interesting play. The deuce is jammed. And the fives trap looks to have worked. Voila, there he goes. All right. I think we're like almost dead last in chips. That's crazy. 39 of 41. Hmm. Eight bigs. Yep. So, bottom line is we double up. We back in this business. Average stack is 420. I'm sitting on 100. Never say die. You don't. You know. You don't quit. You don't just go. Oh. You know. You play. Play. Play it out all the way. Give it your all. Run good at the right time. That's all we need to do. Jell Van Rin, did you start out as a cash game player? I think pretty much most people did. Well, yeah, I did. I started cash, and then I started to play tournaments as a treat kind of thing. Lots of fun. Thanks, Germ Bus. Wants to play around of golf with me. Says his mom recently passed away, and the only player she liked was me. That's sweet. I'll be back, guys. Get a little refreshed.
on the brake. What's up, babe? Huh? Yeah, I just texted you. I have uh, 8.6 bigs. There's only 39 players left. I'm sitting 38 of 39. But whatever, you know. No, that's okay. I just texted you. I said we got uh, 8.6 blay bigs and uh, six max. So it goes. It's going so fast. There's only 39 players left. We just got to run good now. We win that first one, cause like the average stack. It's only 420K, we have 100K. It's like two doubles. I mean, I'm not that I'm worried about that, but like, I just wanna win, you know? It's freaking unbelievable how many times I keep getting down here. Like, every freaking day. It's like unreal, like, all summer, it's, you know? Time to just run good. And I think we're going to today, in front of everybody. Two minutes left, we're on break right now. Feeling lucky. What is my wife doing right now? Talking to me. I am looking. I found where I got the mask. That's what I was. Oh, you did? Okay. Someone was asking about the bedazzled mask. It is. See Blanca my, the label. Blanca. 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 B L A N K A. The label. The label. It's uh, so. See how sweet she is. She freaking went and did that for you. Nice people. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. It took weeks. Weeks to get it. Sure. Yeah. They were very, very slow. Back it's order. Really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we got a minute here. You can come sit if you want. Okay. Mm. People love you on here. Come I on in. I was thinking. 
I was going to order some Mexican authentic food yeah. again, maybe. All right. Looks like I got a guest in the booth. We're doing oh, this again. Fix Just fix kidding. your hair. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's so perfect. So we're gonna, you know, do the the stream thing. She's gonna chat with the people, and they're gonna be nice, right? You guys are gonna be nice. Gonna be nice. Be polite, respectful. Hope so. Of my wife. Yeah. So they're not always. I was getting annoyed. I was. I almost. Was oh, ready someone to, said something bad. Just the same shit, you know. What could they possibly say? Oh, stupid stuff. It's I'm okay. kidding. I don't want to hear it. But I didn't. I didn't threaten anyone physically. Mm -hmm. I banned a couple. I didn't yeah. threaten anyone. That's good. Yeah. I'm growing as a person. Yeah. I think. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Who said bad things? These motherfuckers. Yeah. Ah, fucking get them. <laughs> you guys don't know my wife's tough. That's right. You need a quickie with Amanda. Yep. She says, go to your home ball. <laughs> she goes, yep. Should have done that on the break, huh? Yeah. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> you know what? I like those, so... Mm. Five minutes is plenty for sex. I mean, people are going to say we're stupid, but I really like quickies sometimes. I mean, just do it. Get it. Because she's fast. She's Very fast. She gets to the uh, finish line rather quickly. Yeah. Not tooting my own horn. That's just her, the way she is. <laughs> Very fast. Yeah. And so... God, these um, look huge right now. I don't feel like I need to put them out. <laughs> all right, babe. This is it. Let's go with oh, it. Oh, okay. All right. We're going to go all in. I'm going to shoot this. Okay. This is the right play. The Ace Three Diamonds. See if this, I'll, I'll start filming if somebody calls. And then we double up. Double up. Double up. Right, Damn it, someone No, called. don't. That's, we're going to win. Okay, He's got king win. high or some shit. We're going to win. Diamonds. doesn't matter. We're going to make a flush. Right. All right. We are all in here. Ace three diamonds against two sevens. No big Come deal. On. All we need is an ace, babe. Okay. A queen would do. A queen. Okay. A jack. Ace, queen, or a jack. All right. Let's squeeze it. She hates the squeeze. But make a paint card. It's a paint card. Is it? Yeah, could be a queen or a jack. We, we could win with a queen or a jack. King! King. Fuck! Man! What the f- I thought for sure we fucking got there. It was a heart too. Oh. Son of a bitch. Fuck. I thought for sure. What a great sweat. Fucking paint card and it was a heart. Man, this squeeze can get you pissed off. Son of a gun. I'm so fucking so shocked. Boy. 39th again. Ugh. What the hell, man? What is going on? The pain. Fuck, oh, man. I'm sorry, babe. It's okay. Fuck me. Just, you play so long and you get these 20s and 30s and it's like... Every it's fucking so tournament. It's so hard to get down that low. And yeah. you keep doing it. Sick. I know, like, man, fuck, that squeeze, it really does put you in the pain. Because yeah. once I saw the pain, I'm like, oh, and it's a heart too? Because there was a spade and a diamond there, so... Oh. We'll go for a walk and then watch some hockey. Is there anything else to play? I uh, know. I'm done. Done for the day. Back tomorrow, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Man, there's a lot of people watching, too. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Oh, no, I'm not filming that. All right. So I'm going to film the outro for the vlog. All right. Okay. Let's do the outro for the vlog. All right. I'm a little steamed up. Nah, not going to lie. Like, you know, we have that great squeeze feature on GG, and I squeezed out a line, which means it's a paint. So, you know, we, have, we need a queen or a jack to survive. And then it's a heart, which is a good card because there's no heart on board. So we're like, oh, about baby doll. We're a really big favorite to, uh, to double. And then, of course, we squeeze a little further and it's a king. Man, we would have won that pot. We would have had 8.4, 16.8. We had like 18, 19 blinds, which is right in there. This is getting frustrating. I'm not going to lie. 672 entries. We came in 39th again. How many top 40 finishes have we had out of like thousands and thousands of player fields? I can't even tell you, but eight of them, I guess. So now, at least we got the rest of the day to uh, enjoy this right out here. That's what I'll leave you with because I haven't shown this in a while. I can't even see it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, beautiful view. Go for a walk with the wife. Oh, boom. Steamed up. All right, y'all. Peace. Another vlog down. Back at it tomorrow. Playing the double stack from the get go. Tonight should be a drinking night. <laughs> we'll see. Tomorrow. All right, all done. Oh shit, did I turn off the stream? I didn't turn off the stream. All right, all right, y'all. See ya. Let me click this out. 14599, gotta write that down. 14599. Where did I put my phone? Oh, it's right here. All right, I'm just gonna put it in real quick. 14. 
14, 599, 39, oh, 672. Fuck me. 39th, 33rd, 984 cash. 9th, well, in that heads up, 105th, 61st. Do you have one bullet in that? Two. Okay. All right. Peace, y'all. Thanks for joining me. Go, Knights, go. Later, y'all. Huh? Oh, you already got on. No, about to right now. Click end stream. See if I did it right. I don't think I did.